are you acting like a snake that swallowed something? What is this? Um, How did you get in here in the first place and what are you doing here? Come on, your majesty. Come on. Don't you like what you see? I am more than qualified to be among your queens. Mm. To respond to your question, no. I don't like what I see. I am actually disgusted by what I see. And you're not qualified to be a queen. You're only qualified to be a cheap slut. What did you just say? I said that you are going to make a good mischief maker and not a queen. And to think that I recognize you as my wife's friend. <laughs> that is what I am saying. Yeah. A friend to a queen is also a queen. And then I I came prepared to give you all of this, you know. But unfortunately you're not qualified to be a queen. However, you will qualify as a cheap slot. Come on, Your Majesty. I mean, your words are, are hurting me to The Look. next time you come here to pull this kind of stunt in front of me, it is not going to end well. I'm not looking for a queen. I have a queen, the love of my life, the only woman that I see. Don't come here again. Get out. Bring them before me. It is obvious why you are here. You are one of those cheap slots who are always here to seduce my brother. Just because you heard the rumor that is spraying around. I beg your pardon. I am not a cheap slot. Do you have a better name they call you? I am Mabel. And I have never sworn an feed of it to change that name. Mabel, or whatever they call you. That my brother is expected to remarry does not mean he will go for anything. Now, leave my presence and never come back here again. Do not insult me. And be fool should not insult herself. Leave now before I ask them to release the dogs. Leave! Because of this insult, I will go all out to marry the king and you will be the first person I am going to deal with. Nonsense. I must be sincere with us here. I don't like the way the king is handling this issue. We are men in council. And we must not be dismissed as, as, as children who, 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 are, who, who are talking trash. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. 
I do not have the intention of playing in too deep with full exuberance the king exhibits. Frog loves water, no doubt, but not when it is boiling. I, who know wounds are well, will get the water boiling soon. And then we will all sit back and watch to see how it's going to handle things. I follow it cheered. You will not go to Oguefi Okwana Aswanya and appeal to him to talk to our king. As he is the custodian of our revered of one Echeobudu masquerade, he remains the only one the king can listen to. Let me be sincere to you. Right. Oguefi Okwana Aswanya is a person of no importance. Actually, he is one of the problems we have in this kingdom. Yes. After dealing with the king, he is the next person we must deal with. Uh, please. I was under the impression that um, we we'll use this opportunity to discuss uh, the issue of the chief priests of this. Ichi or, Agumba, uh, don't take us back. We are not going to allow their chosen one to become the chief priest. Because if we do, their camp will now be in charge of the politics and the spiritual dimensions of Umwezora kingdom. That means that we are nothing. We must make sure our chosen person becomes the chief priest. After all, they have succeeded in installing that young man as king. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is the only way this problem can be solved. You have been so quiet today. I hope all is well. What's what, what the issue? Uh, I've been quiet because I've been analyzing this issue. There is no need for all this cool battle. This is the modern world for crying out loud. Some of these traditions are no longer feasible. How do you expect the king to marry four women? He doesn't even know. Just because the queen left the palace. I think we should leave the king to handle his marital crisis his own way. Richard, honestly, it would have been better if you had kept quiet instead of vomiting this trash you are vomiting. You have nothing, absolutely nothing reasonable to say. Ichio Kurondo. He did not insult you. Are you saying that we should ignore things that concern the land? Modern world or no modern world, Umwezora kingdom has been known as that kingdom that still holds tight to their customs and traditions. And whatsoever concerns our royal head concern the land. I don't want to join words with anyone here, but I've spoken my mind. <laughs> Can I be very sincere with you? Go ahead. I support the elders. Are you serious? Yes. Why would you say that? Say, when your possessed wife refused to stay with you in the palace, 
it is very obvious that her insensitive decision will cost us more harm than good. Now, the elders have said what to do to solve the problem. Why don't you do it? Up and down. I am your brother. I know. But I'll be quick to remind you that I am the king of Umwezara Kingdom. And I do not take instruction from people. Especially when it has to do with my personal life. My dear brother. This is not about giving and taking instructions. The elders are mandating. Oh, rightly put. The tradition is mandating you to get married to four daughters of this land, which represents the four market days. Why don't you just do it? Enjoy yourself. Allow this woman to take care of you. As a king, the more women you marry, the greater you become. So go ahead and do it. I have seen how backward your thinking is. You know, your rude character would never really allow you to experience and truly feel what love is. That's why you talk like this. Up now, when you get married, if ever you will, are you going to allow your husband to take more wives, just so he can enjoy himself and be great. Well, I am not the one who left her, her husband. After now, you have nothing to say to me. Leave my presence. Think about it. Because I am not going to be here to face the calamity because of that woman. She's not worth it. Excuse me. suddenly decided to up and leave the palace without telling me what the problem is. So that we can resolve it within us. And now everyone thinks that they can just walk in here and tell me exactly what to do. the cap of it oh. let him wear the crown oh. do not fight a man ordained by God yeah cause you will never never now that we have blessed cola and uh, we are drinking I feel this is the best time for for us to get down to the reason we are here uh, why this visit to my place no, can you at least open the floor? Oh, boy, if you're going to sign. 
I thank you for allowing us into your domain. It is said that a village without the elderly is like a well without water. All is not well with our kingdom. Our young king is about destroying our land. And the council of elders will not just fold our hands, sit and watch that happen. That is why we are here, to see you. Because we believe you can handle this. So are we talking about the same king that I know? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I am one of boys. So what is the problem? Can somebody, can somebody at least tell me something? How has he become a problem? What happened? It is the belief of our people that once a queen leaves the palace, she lives with a core part of the king. And must stay undefiled. Because if by any chance she got defiled by another man, wanton calamity will befall our land. Especially the king. So in our quest for solution, solution to what the queen has done to avoid problem, and according to our tradition, we told the king that um, he has to marry four new wives, according to our tradition, mm -hmm. representing the four market days we have in Ebola land, and that the queen that left must be compelled to remain undefiled. You know, if, if you ask, I will say you are beating, you're just going round and round and round. Can you tell me specifically what the main issue is? The king refused to listen to us. In fact, everything we said in the palace fell on deaf ears. He says he does not believe in any of these traditions. Any of them. So how am I connected with this? Do you actually think I can force a man to believe what he seems not to believe? We are here to let you know the situation in this kingdom. Because as a respected person, we believe you can talk to the king, probably, for him to understand the implications of his actions. Yes. I don't blame him anyway because he has lived his life outside our kingdom and is not rooted in all this. He has his choice to make else the council of elders will have no other choice than to raise the sacred staff of Umwezora kingdom. As you know, that will kill the queen because we cannot just sit and watch her bring calamity upon us. You know, you amaze me when you speak of raising the offer, sacred offer of women's or a kingdom. You? If you will listen to me, I mean, if you are ready to hear the truth, I will ask you, let the king be. Allow the young man to rule in peace. It is unfortunate that the kind of very negative politics you have been playing in this kingdom has not allowed us to install a chief priest in our land. No, 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 wait. I won't take this from you. Both of us know that the absence of the chief priest has nothing to do with this. We have a tradition, and our tradition must follow. We must follow it. But let this be the very last time you will interrupt me when I'm talking. Don't try it again. Here you are making reference to tradition, and I want to ask you, 
Was tradition not made for men? Was it men that we are made for tradition? No, no. Are you not supposed to know that there are some tradition that needs to be revisited as the world is evolving? No, no. Why are you believing that because it is tradition, it must remain like that? That even when the world is changing, tradition cannot change? Who does that? The queen just left the palace. She has not issued any statement that she is no longer wife to the king. The husband has not actually said that he has divorced his wife. What they are having is marital issue, which they can resolve. Now, what makes you think, or why will you reach the conclusion that they can no longer come back together? I don't understand what you are saying. You understand exactly what I am saying, and if you don't understand, I will explain it. They are having marital issues, which is very common. And I want you to give them the space for them to resolve their marital issues. These people are the royal heads in this kingdom. And I want you to allow the king do what he decides. Please. Uh, uh, Wifi, I just want to make an innocent inquiry. What if the queen decides to live with another man? And, and I'm, I, want, I want to find out, how is that anybody's business? How could we as men, who are initiated into the organized masquerade court of Omo Ezora Kingdom, how can we possibly now believe that the private life of a woman is going to affect our kingdom? How? Those are part of the draconian provisions of our tradition that has to be revisited. What I am saying in essence is that the private life of a woman is the private life of that woman. And there is no way it can ever affect our kingdom. Bah. I refuse. Our tradition states that. Oh no, wounds are full where I am already done with this topic, and I want I don't want to discuss it any further. You came here asking for my opinion and I have given you my undiluted opinion I want you to ponder on the things that I have said I said stop here what is wrong with you <laughs> what are you doing wait you think you can stop me you think you can stop me, Agavoyobud, from accessing the palace of Umwezor? Must be a fool. Listen, let me tell you. If you misbehave yourself today in this palace, oh God, who made me? I will have no option than to bundle you. It's just you have like this. I will bundle you and throw you out of this palace. It's okay. Akaba cannot bring himself down to argue with a mere palace fool like you. A real palace guy with a damn pass I cannot do that. Oh, okay. See, listen. Let me ask you. Does this place look like a beer parlor? Or a, a, a joint where you got yourself drunk? What's your problem? What's wrong with you? Listen, I have told you. This is the last warning. Today, if you try that nonsense here, I will bundle you and throw you outside. I just confirmed that you are a very big fool. Yes. Of course, I know that the palace of Umwezo is not a beer palace. Yes. But if I had a correct I am here to see my friend, the king, as a bona fide member of his cabinet. Huh? Yes. And uh, I'm here to collect some bottles. Once I leave my hand on the bottles, I pick it up. Or not? I go my way. So, as a matter of fact, I am warning you. If you come close away. Honestly, Your Majesty, you don't have to be mad at the elders. You, you need to calm down. By their own words, they are trying to find a way to ensure that there is peace in the land and that everything is fine. 
But I, I want to find out, Onyeze, have you on your own tried to find out, you know, sort things out with the queen? Well, Oboefi, I have not been able to do that, and that is because my wife, the queen, for some reason, is staying away from communicating with me for now. On your own? Can you, can you tell me the exact reason that she left? Have you been able to find out? Well, like I have just pointed out, I have not been able to communicate with her, so I don't know. But my sister, um, Princess Abunau is of the opinion that the Queen is possessed. But I don't agree. That's a childish talk. I'm happy you don't agree because that is not possible. There is no way a woman who is married to the King of Umwe Zora, a woman who stays within the four walls of the palace will be possessed by any spirit. That's a childish talk. The issue is that there is a problem. And as long as we don't know what this problem is, I am thinking we have to tread with caution. Honestly. If you are confused. I am confused. I don't know what to do. You don't have to be confused. You really don't, don't, you don't have to be confused. You are a man who is sitting on an ancestral stool, and to the best of my knowledge, you have been carrying yourself well as the king. All these things, will, they will pass away. And I sincerely believe that the ghosts are always with you. The great king of our great kingdom, the king of whom we are in the The conspiracy was to prevent me from coming in. But in my capacity as Agawa, I was able to beat the conspiracy. Huh? Yes. Oh, yes, sir. You will beat this conspiracy against you. How do you know, sir? Yes, you need that. Yes. I mean, how can anybody be conspiring against our king? Huh? Hmm. Of course, you might not like him, but he's already the king. And you must respect his office as the king. Our ancestors who put him there will either strike you with Otolo, like before they finally strike you there. Beautiful angel. You finally come outside. Yes, I came out. I am a very busy woman. I wasn't expecting you at my gate. What are you doing here? Yes. Onyego is here because you have refused to give me listening ears. Beautiful one, you are so mean to me. I don't know why. Can you please reduce the volume of your resistance um, so that we can blend together? Chief Dede, right? Yes. Yeah, go on. Don't tell me you drove all the way down here to come tell me this. Yes. But uh, I am glad I have other important news I need to tell you. Look. There is something important I want us to discuss. Something that will be beneficial to you and I. Uh, but please, I want you to permit this handsome young man. Take me inside so we can sit and talk. In order to make one year outside, it's not good. I should take you inside my house. Yes, of course. The only reason I'm standing here to have a discussion with you is because of the little respect I still have for you. You would not go into my house to have a conversation. If there is anything you want to say, say it here and now. I have something important to do inside. Oh. 
Why, Oma? Look. Mugaka, you want to one. Iba won't touch. Iafuna, Moka, work on Atacasi. Please, I want you to accept me as your man. I promise you, I will give you whatever you want on it. Eh? We were once business partners, right? Yes, of course. I would love for you to respect that boundary. Stop pestering me. You're beginning to irritate me and it's getting on my nerves already. Listen, I don't want you to come to my gates to come look for me again. Don't! Why, your man? Don't come close. Look, if you are not in the USA, you will know how many containers now are that daily. Oh. God. By the mention of the name of please forget whosoever that is distracting you. Accept me, and I promise you. Look, once you accept me as your man, I am going to buy you any mansion you want in Victoria Island. Please, just accept me. The kind of women who will accept you are women in their graves. Go down there and look for them. Don't come close to my gates again. And that is the final warning. My love. It's it's revy, revy. You're looking like a marvelous girl. <laughs> <laughs> my imperial majesty, my king and my lord. My darling, you know that it makes me happy when you address me as such. But you know I would always address you as my king and my lord, for indeed that is what you are. Ah, Ebube. I have some unanswered questions, but I'll start with one. <laughs> Understanding that you must have been troubled. But then you left without speaking. Why? For King to marry another wife. Father, I think. I think what? I think the Queen is irresponsible for leaving her home unannounced. And it is not just an insult to the King, but also to the entire kingdom. When your mom. My pain is that the King is not seeing all this. His attitude towards this whole thing baffles me. <laughs> he is a stubborn king. But you know what? We, the Council of Elders, will not allow his stubbornness reign this kingdom. <clears throat> well, he has no choice but to listen to the elders of the land. Mm -hmm. You're right. Whether he likes it or not, he must listen to us. <sighs> but the painful thing is that that a fool, that stupid man that always sees himself as semi god, called Obuofiokwa Nasoya, that idiot. Mm -hmm. Is supporting the king. Mm. Yes. He is not saying anything reasonable to back up my plans. But whether he likes it or not, they must surely play along. 
I know you all will sort it out anyway. Now, let me get your food. Oh? No, no, no. Don't. I, oh, I want it. to. I, I lost my appetite. Let me rest first. Now, take it easy, bro. Oh? Take it easy. Balanza, I am here to see the king. Why are you delaying me? The king is not disposed to see anyone today. Leave and come back on appointment. If the king is not disposed to see anyone, it should be those that come here to beg him for money. Not me. Is that for what? Okay, mom. The brain box of this kingdom. May I remind you? I am here to see the king for a crucial meeting to discuss important issues bothering on this kingdom in my capacity as the owner of this land. So, do the need for Now, I am very much aware of who you are. You are, do you know, the traditional prime minister of this kingdom. But I am telling you that the king is not disposed to receiving visitors today. Like I said earlier, leave and come back on appointment. Obalanza, tell the king that Ebiogu, Puraji, Puogu, Pujuari Anine, Manora Pukal, Ebo Muni Aneji Diaka. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. Very well then. Very well then. The princess. Where is my brother? And why are you stopping people from seeing him? My princess, I am working based on the king's instruction. If I want to see my brother, you cannot stop me. I will only respect his wish. And whenever he is ready to see people, tell him that I want to see him so that I can talk to him. I will do just that, my princess. Wait. You are too boastful for my liking. There is nothing formal about you. You are only pretending to be following protocol. Reason I'm here, we make an honor them in my Okwamiri to pose. I went to the palace to speak with the king, and he refused to see me. It is possible the king was not disposed 
to see anybody the time you went to him. It shouldn't be an issue because it can happen to anybody. Why do I have this feeling that you are the one encouraging that young man to behave the way he's behaving right now? I don't know where this is coming from. And honestly, I don't know where you're going with this. But I need you to understand something. That the so-called young man that you keep looking down on is now a king ruling over our kingdom. Give him the breathing space he needs to operate freely. May I also remind you that I am still the Onuru in Zafrukwe of Umezora Kingdom. Nobody is disputing that. You are the Onuru. So what? And I will not sit and watch that young man ruin this land. I will never support that. In Zafrukwe, I am always championing for peace. Because peace is supreme. And I will encourage you to do the same. But if you have decided that constantly waging war with the king is the best way you want to go about it, I wish you best of luck. Amaka, where are you going? Mama, I'm going to see the princess. Don't worry, I'll be back soon and I'll see you in all the domestic chores. Let me just see the princess and I'll be back. Huh. Okay, I'll be waiting. Come back early. Please. Oh. I'll come back early. Don't worry. Hmm? You've got me and I've got you. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. I'm coming. Katia, Katia. Make sure you come back quick. <laughs> Katia, Katia. Oh, I'm coming, yo. Oh. Oh. Your new job, I haven't seen it. You're so scarce. <laughs> My princess. Isn't it up to two months now? I haven't seen it. <laughs> My princess. You're only exaggerating. Mm -hmm. Please see. I come home weekends, but when the workload is too much, I stay back. I understand. I miss you. I miss you too, my princess. I hope you got something for me from your last shopping. Trust me. <laughs> I did. Um, I missed you, dog. <laughs> I see. A lot has been happening lately in the palace. My princess, I do not want you to leave out any part of the gist. Let me hear. Is the king. See how miserable you have become. I don't know what you mean by me being miserable. I'm just tired. I need to rest. Did you just say rest? No, everybody, did you just say you need to rest? So what have you been doing ever since you left the king? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have been in this house all by yourself, doing nothing. You refuse to do nothing. Mm. Not just that. You left your business in the hands of your staff. I just hope they don't mess things up for you. Okay, honestly. girls, please. I don't know where this conversation is headed. Just have my peace, please. Okay, um, <clears throat> we're here to take you out, and we are not taking no for an answer. Mm -hmm. 
you have to take me over when I'm sorry because I'm not an age from this house. Listen, girls, I just want to be in here. I just want some solitude, some quietness. I don't... I'm not going out. Please. Why are you acting like you're heartbroken? I mean, it was your decision to leave the king. No one forced you. So the elders of our community want him to take four wives on the same day, representing the four market states. Failure to do so, he will face the consequences of my decision to leave the palace. Um, where is this coming from? I mean, who, who, who told you this? He called me. Told me about it. I mean, I didn't know you were having any sort of conversation with the king. So why did you leave him? Why I left is something I can't explain. I, I don't even want to talk about it. Okay, Bube, you are the queen of Ezra Kingdom. And you know Ezra Kingdom is a kingdom that loves ancient ways and tradition. Honestly, I do not know your reason, but I sincerely hope it is worth it. Thank you, Amanda. I will be fine. You are right. I will be fine. Trust me. Okay, so we want to hang out. We want to have fun. So go we'll get dressed. I wonder you feel me to be deaf. I said earlier that I wasn't going anywhere. I meant it. I'm not. For real? It's for real. So girls, that is the premium gist in town now. I confirm from both my father and the princess. You know she's my very good friend. Mm -hmm. I always admire the king. And to crown it, he's a young man. <laughs> you see, I don't even know why the queen will leave our king as handsome as he is. And she feels it's normal. Ha. Oh, well. Well, like the saying goes, one man's food is another man's poison. Mm -mm. This one is wrong. I mean, the queen is senseless. Uh-uh. How can, how can she do that? See, if I'm the one, ah, it's a do or die affair. <laughs> I will remain in that marriage. Whatever I see, I will stay there. <laughs> royalty, royalty. Ha, king. Oh, God. <clears throat> Fine. Fair. My spec. Well, I feel... <clears throat> I know. Hmm? I think I stand a chance. Because I was born in a K market day. And before my grandmother's death, she usually called me Mweke. So, I'm Mweke. <laughs> really? Yes. Come to think of it. I don't even know the market day which I was born on. Maybe I'll ask my father. No, I don't need to ask anybody. My house is fine. I'll use my phone. Madam researcher, mm -hmm. you always know how to research everything. Of course. See, anything you want to know in this life, mm -hmm. just Where ask Google. Champ, champ, open, 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 open. Please, your date. Let him wear the crown, no. Do not fight a man ordained by God. Yeah, cause you will never, never win. Why the envy? Envy. Why all the jealousy? Jealous. You have forgotten your duties in the kingdom. Father, you can make this happen. Of course, I can make anything happen. Your father, Onowu Nzafrukwe, come pull out anything I want. But the issue is not making it happen. The issue here is that that stubborn boy, that our stubborn new king, has refused to see reason to accept the council of the elders of the land. I believe with time he would understand and come to terms with the elders. Father, I am, I am qualified to be one of the maidens. If 
Father, I am Mbeke. I was born on a key market day. <laughs> My daughter, who told you that? <laughs> See, that name, Amaka, everybody calls you. The full name is Eke Amaka. <laughs> <laughs> My friends and I searched it. And we found out that we were all born on a key market day. Okay. There's going to be a competition. <laughs> My daughter. I am on no wounds Afrugwe. And anything I want, that I get. Competition or no competition. The fact is that once the king comes to terms and accepts to do what the council of elders are asking him to do, you, my daughter, will be number one choice to become our next queen. <laughs> Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Where, where is this obsession of wanting to be the queen coming from? Instead of you to go back and concentrate on your job, you are here, rooting to be with a king, a man who is subjected to marry many women. Do you even know the stress and battle of polygamy? Do you know? Mama, who is talking about the stress or the battle involved? It's about the prestige. Do you know what it means to become the queen of Umwe's or kingdom? One stands to gain a lot from all fronts. That's what we're talking about. Not about the stress or battle. Who is talking about stress or battle? Hey. Hey. I have said my own no. If you like, do what I have said. If you don't like, do whatever you want to do. Now nah, you will not advise your daughter. You are supporting her. Shut up. Make you go on to the queen. What you what are you even saying? The prayer of every parent is that their children should be greater than they are. You are the wife of Ono. And our daughter here is now privileged to become the queen of Umezora kingdom. Is that no prayer answered? Our daughter wants a good life for herself. And I, her father, supports her. <laughs> I will not even say anything to both of you again. Do you see me again? Oh! I will I never be a party to that. Ekamaka, mm -hmm. uh -huh. let's plan. Let's do it. We're full of mama with the jealous. before the king who rules over Mezora kingdom. Despite the troubles, your reign will continue to be great, your majesty. What troubles you? Thank you. How about us? I know that you have been keeping tabs with all that has been happening palace and around the kingdom. Hmm? I'd like to know what you think. I, I already refer to them as troubles, Your Majesty. It's just for a period of time. Nothing lasts forever, Your Majesty. Thank you. But that still has not answered the question. Hmm? Your Majesty, mm -hmm. ignore the elders. Most importantly, what we should be looking at now is why the queen left the palace. 
that, in my considered opinion, is very important. Yes. Until you know the reason, I don't think it's wise to bring another woman into the palace as a queen. Oh, balance. <laughs> One can readily see why you have remained my personal assistant for the longest. You are sound. Very intelligent. See, the young and the married women of Umar Zara Kingdom are already fighting to be among the four chosen queens. I, I, and, uh, and, and I'm convinced we should not play into that confusion. Uh, Your Majesty, all we need is patience. With patience, we will get it right. I believe you are aware of the development in this kingdom. You should be able to speak to your brother, the king, to do the right thing. He is avoiding the council of elders. And the elders will not sit and allow things go wrong. The queen cannot just pack out of the palace. That is the height of irresponsibility. And we, the Council of Elders, will not sit and allow such to linger from what we think. Your brother, the king, is hiding something. And the Council of Elders will be left with no other choice than to compel him. And the Council of Elders will not hesitate to take the bull by the horns. I implore you to calm down, Omo. I understand your anger. But I want to tell you that my brother will do the right thing very soon. From the look of things, he is not emotionally stable right now. But I know that he will come around very soon. My princess, Ikuamaho, Ibezie. Ato Olo Omalo, Omalo, Ato Olo Ofeke, Ofeni Sinofia. Your brother should not push us to the wall to the point that we have to compel him to raise the secret staff of Omo Ezora. And may I remind you that will kill the queen wherever she is. He better make her while the sun shines because the council of elders will do that. We can just sit and watch our land destroyed. I will be on my way. Whoever the cap of it, let him wear the crown. Oh. Do not fight a man ordained by gods. Yeah. Cause you will never, never win. Why the envy, envy? Why all the jealous? Why is he not speaking to anyone? <laughs> Be seated, please. You know, I am just wondering what brings the no nonsense princess up when I'm more for my kingdom, for my presence. Obwefi, you are one man my brother respects so much. I need you to talk to him. Talk to him on what grounds? He has refused to do the needful since the queen left the palace. 
My brother has become a shadow of himself. The elders have told him what to do to solve the problem, but he has refused to tell that part. So, Princess Apunamu, I want to ask you. You actually believe that your brother marrying four women the same day as the elders in council has speculated? Four women representing the four market days. You believe that is a permanent solution to the problem? Obuefi, I will give you a straight answer to your question. Right. I believe that as a king, the more women you marry, the greater you become. The more sons and daughters you have, that will build a good lineage for you when you are no more. Well, I'm not going to pretend I don't know where this is coming from. I know where you are coming from. But I'm going to tell you, Princess Apunawo, that you have nothing, as in absolutely nothing, to be worried about. Wifi. So after all I said, you are still insisting that I have nothing to worry about? Of course. I need you to understand something. Your brother did not just become king out of his own volition. He passed through all the royal scrutiny and he was chosen by the ancestors of Umar Zora to be king. And to the best of my knowledge, he has not deviated from the ways of the gods. His footsteps will be guided by the gods and the ancestors of this land. You don't have anything to be worried about. Whoever the cap of it, let him wear the crown. No, do not. Oh, I'm a master. Please come to daddy. Hmm? Chief Dead. I must be for one. What is the meaning of this? Why are you parked blocking my estate's gates and obstructing me driving in? The most beautiful one. I have been calling you. I have sent you several messages. You have not replied to anyone. Um, so, Onyego have no choice than to come and block this estate because I know you will definitely pass here while going to your house. Um, but I am sorry, beautiful angel. Uh, let me remove this so that you can cross. Hmm? Hey, hey, stop, come, 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 come. As you get into your car, make sure you drive away from this premises. Don't you ever come back here to look for me. I mean it. Don't come back. Uh, uh, Mama, is that how you're addressing me? Uh, do you know the kind of man you are talking to? Look, my dear, I, I love you so much. And see, if you accept me as your man, I am going to send everybody out of this estate and buy this estate for you. Huh? Onyego is talking now. Now listen to me, Mr. Man. I am not a woman of too many words. But trust me, the next time I see you anywhere around me, I will sue you for trespassing. Honestly, I can smuggle assault into it and get you in prison for life. Who the hell do you think you are? Huh? Is it, is it because I love you? No, tell me who the hell are you to and look at? who the bloody hell do you think you are? Look, huh? come on. Who do you think you are? Now I'm going to make this clear. This is the last time I want to see you anywhere around me. You come close to me again, huh? you wouldn't like it. Look at this. Look, 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 come on. Is it because I love you? Who are you to look at you? Tell me that you are going to send me to prison. The same prison I donated to federal government. You want to send me to in a yala? Is it because I love you? You should have a change of heart. You look like Telly Tobies. When you do that, you can have. Yeah, my friend. Don't talk to me that way. Who are you? If you don't get out of my way, I will run you over. You should be happy. You, you like like a man, a man like me is asking you out. I 
I wonder why a young lady like that will not want to be with any man. She left the king to be alone. Who does that? Or is it that she has personal hatred for me? Why will she? She does not know me so well. I am the one who knows her. And I stand to gain a lot if I succeed in marrying her. Because the one of prosperity of the royal home is still on her. I chief dead. I am every woman's dream. And that queen who left her husband and become a fallible for boys will not be an exception. <laughs> hey. Just reason. It will be. Looking at it critically, why won't they come? The men are coming because they know you're hot. I mean, you're beautiful. The problem I have with you is that you are never, ever serious with issues like this. Why can't you just face what we have at hand? <laughs> I am never serious with Yes. Me. I am facing the issue we have at hand. How? Men are coming for you, Abel Bay. So you have two options. Choose between the men that are coming or you go back to the palace. Really? Yes, please. <laughs> and you think being blunt is the new flex right now, isn't it? <laughs> That's one thing I don't like about you. You are too blunt. Fine. Fine. I am blunt. I know. But I'm telling the truth. Choose between going back to the king or you pick one of the men to marry you, Abu Bey. And you think that's an option for me? That's not even what I'm going to put into consideration. I am not picking any man. Fine. You're on your own. Thank you. Please, do you have anything to, to eat or drink? Find and out when first. you get into the kitchen. Right. Uh, oh no, you see the problem we are having? The king is not even ready to marry four wives. He is equally not ready to lift the offer to save our land from the calamity that will come with the immorality of the queen. Now the question is, what should we do? Can I hear me? I don't know why that young man, our king, is stubborn. If not that he is the king, I would have said that woman charmed him. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not that, eh? He is the king. And as a king, there is no charm in this world that can have potency on him. Oh no, one can I do? What shall we do? Give her a man who am I cannot buy you go down. Eh? Ichi Agumba. How did you guys do that? I think the Council of Elders mm. will organize and then go to him. We have to go and speak to him. Oh no. You mean we should confront the king? How shall we confront the king? How? Ichi Agumba. Hmm? Onabu, Asogide Zaya, Eburun Katanisi, When you have exhausted every humility in talking to the king, and he refuses to listen, you confront him head on and say the truth to him. Oh no. See, I believe in speaking truth to power. But the question is. Does he even believe that what we're telling him is true? Does he? He doesn't. Then, we will continue to tell him the truth. 
drink. But we not seem like money there. The father, the king, has refused to come to see us even after we have spent more than one hour in this place. Is deliberate. I want us to be settled about that. I am equally pleased. But. Since Eleke the Bird has decided to fly without patching, the hunter will learn to shoot without aiming. Elders of our land, we have to wait for the king. We must settle this issue today. The king must tell us why he has refused to take the new four wives as the custom demands. Oh no, we see a madam. Corpus in Agupa de Ronco. If it is so difficult for him to find the four wives, we can organize a maiden festival for him to choose from. Yes. Yes. There shall be no such arrangement in Omar's kingdom. A king is always a king, and he remains the king. We are here to see the king, and not you, Obalazi. The king has given me an instruction, and I am here to pass it. Elders should stop encouraging the unmarried women of Women's Zora Kingdom. The king is not looking for a wife. The king cannot come out to address us. He sent you to us. Obalanze. Obalanze, don't be the one Zali Jurav for Jebel Chiakamba. I am the mouthpiece of the king, and I have just passed a message from the king. There is no problem in the land, so you elders should not create one. The king is not going to marry the four women. He is married just to one woman, and that is the queen. The one who is no longer in the palace. The one who is no longer of any use to him. The one who... Oh, no one is everywhere. The bleating of the coat does not really mean the food has finished. Do not give the king the impression that you are challenging him. He is the king, and he may decide to rise against you as the king. I'm very sure you will not like that. You all may live in peace now. I don't know what is wrong with the king. He has forgotten that we are the king makers, okay? We put him there. Mm -hmm. And we can equally unseat him. Unseat him, yes! My fellow elders, it's okay. What is okay? I think we should give the king time. We cannot force him to do what he does not want to do. Eh? Just more time. That's all. It is not just about him. It's not just about your king. It's about the entire kingdom. Mm. Yes. Oh no. We have to do something about this behavior of the king. That young man is pushing me to the wall. 
And I will soon lose it. When I do, when I do, I will devour you. Let's go. Why are the elders upset? I saw them leaving the palace with angry faces. Still on the same issue, I guess. Yes, my princess. Still on the same issue. Do you think the king is doing the right thing by paying deaf ears to the elders? I feel we should give the king the chance. Let him think and know the best decision to take. It is not too late. Nothing has gone wrong yet in the kingdom, and I'm sure nothing will ever go wrong. Should I understand this to mean that you are going to lead him on until something wrong happens? That is not the correct interpretation to what is playing out, my princess. The wise will understand me effortlessly. And what are you insinuating? That I am not wise? I never said so, my princess. You never said so directly. But you said it indirectly. I am sorry if my intention differ from your understanding, my princess. But that is not what I meant. I am watching you closely in this palace. I am going to perforate you. I said it before, and I am going to do that. I am a god under royal earth in this palace, my princess. And it is not right that you always threaten me. A balance, or whatever they call you. This is not a threat. I am going to perforate you. acting like a snake that swallowed something. What is this? Uh, How did you get in here in the first place and what are you doing here? Come on, your majesty. Come on. Don't you like what you see? I am more than qualified to be among your queens. To respond to your question, no, I don't like what I see. I am actually disgusted by what I see. And you're not qualified to be a queen. You're only qualified to be a cheap slut. What did you just say? I said that you are going to make a good mischief maker and not a queen. And to think that I recognize you as my wife's friend. <laughs> that is what I am saying. Yeah. A friend to a queen is also a queen. And then I, I came prepared to give you all of this, you know. But unfortunately, you're not qualified to be a queen. However, you will qualify as a chip slot. Come on, Your Majesty. I mean, your words are, are hurting me deep down. The Look. next time you come here to pull this kind of stunt in front of me, it is not going to end well. I'm not looking for a queen. I have a queen, the love of my life. 
the only woman that I see. Don't come here again. Get out. covering them before me. It is obvious why you are here. You are one of those sheep sluts who are always here to seduce my brother. Just because you heard the rumor that is spraying around. I beg your pardon. I am not a sheep slut. Do you have a better name they call you? I am Mabel. And I have never sworn an feed of it to change that name. Mabel, or whatever they call you. That my brother is expected to remarry does not mean he will go for anything. Now, leave my presence and never come back here again. Do not insult me. I'm a fool should not insult herself. Leave now before I ask them to release the dogs. Leave! Because of this insult, I will go all out to marry the king and you will be the first person I am going to deal with. Nonsense. I don't like the way guests are trooping in and out of the palace. They are taking advantage of the king, and it's not nice. My problem is, who keeps allowing them into the palace? The palace has a standing rule that we should allow everybody access their palace. My brother even took it to another level that he gives listening ear to everyone. My princess, that rule needs to be adjusted. I'm very sure all these ladies have ulterior motives. I have already taken my decision. I will instruct the guard before the close of business today. Any girl who wants to see my king must pass through me. Do we even have to allow the king see any of them? My princess, introduce me already to the king. I don't want him to start picking interest in any of these girls. Do not jump the gun, Amaka. We already have a plan, and we are following that plan. My princess, I know we have a plan. But considering how desperate all these ladies have become, I need to be introduced now. I will handle it. Come on, drink up. Your Majesty, my own brother. I figured out that you are lonely and bored. I decided to come and check up on you. Here with me, my very good, pretty friend, the only daughter of Ono. I'm sure you've not met her before. Don't leave your majesty. You are the Ono's daughter. Yes, your majesty. 
I see. What else? Nothing. I just feel that she bring her to you at least. Introduce her to you and um, I got married to her. You're wasting your time up now. Young girl, do not let my sister waste your time. I'm not looking for a bride. Hmm? is hell-bent on pushing you out of the way. I told her that you stand a better chance than her because you are the only who's daughter. But she threw away my information as if it was meaningless. So Neka has grown wings and she wants to challenge me. I see. I've seen it now. Hmm? I told Neka that if truly she is a good friend, that she should throw away this competition of a team and support you. Eh? Support you so that you'll be the next queen. See, I've always known that she's jealous of me and never liked me. Is that you? If not, why would she want to be in a competition with me to marry the king? It's not like she's prettier than I am. Mm -hmm. I've got all it takes to get the king. Exactly. I even told her that the king is not in any class with her. That was what I told her. But to Nekam, you know Nekam, she didn't listen to me. And as I'm seeing it, she will not listen. Ha! Ah. Do not worry yourself about her. Okay. Don't worry yourself about her. She will soon be disgraced. Mark my words. Okay. Let me believe you and drink to that. But, <laughs> mm. Amaka, tell me. What is your next plan? I mean, what are you thinking? What do you want to do next? Plan. Mm. Worry not. You mm. know I've got the backing of the princess. We've been friends for a very long time. Yes. I know. I trust you. And I know that you will find your way into the king's house. I know you. <laughs> I know who's the <laughs> Oh well. You know you're my friend and I will carry you along. It has not been easy though, but I know that soon, very soon, I will be queen, mm. and you all will bow before me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> As to be friends with you, you now think we're now mates that you want to compete with me, right? <laughs> Amaka, I hope all this is not about the king. Oh, no, 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 no. If not the king, who else? Who yeah. else? But you already said you're better than me, of course. So, why are you scared? Scared of what? I don't know. Why don't you relax? Calm down. Mm? Let's get to the battlefield and see who the king will choose. You must be very stupid. Jimo, you must Jimo. be very stupid to think that you can, you can compete with me. You must be very, very stupid. Very, very stupid. No, what do you want? What do you want to do? Yeah, go. What do you want to do? 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 What do Why do you keep coming back here? If the mountain refuses to go to Muhammad, 
Muhammad shall continue to go to the mountain. And who is the mountain here? Who is Muhammad? You are the love of my life. And I miss you. The whole of my life wants you back. And that voice within my spirit, that speaks to me. He's seeking for answers. Answers to all of these happenings that you have triggered. I keep coming. I keep coming. Not only because I miss you. But because I want answers and I hope that someday you'll be willing to talk to me. My imperial lord and king, it breaks my heart to see you this way. It makes me really sad. But I beg you, let's just let the sleeping dog lie, please. No. Please don't push me away. You'll be pushing me into a trap that the elders in council have set for me. Always, Bube. You are the love of my life. You are the queen of Umwezawa. Your mother and queen are already to me. I do not see the need for another woman in my life. Please, don't push me away. Mama, please, I can't. I can't do it. I, I have left the palace already. I am not coming back. I just need you to understand this, please. I'll keep coming back here because you're the only one in my heart because you don't belong here because your rightful place is at the palace because you're my queen please baby come back to me I'm sorry but I can't I know you won't understand any of this, but someday you will. Yes, I didn't eat well. It is unfair that I sent you an email. 
explaining to you that I will come to the palace by noon. You saw the message. You read the message. Still you went out keeping me here. Check your time. Almost 2.30 p.m. And you're just walking in. You sound quite entitled, I know. <laughs> anyway, you're here now, so let's get to it. I'd like to know the purpose of your visit. The other self said it. Why will a king who rule over the people make it almost impossible for the elders of the land who rule with him to say? Well, if the king begins to feel that his elders in council are beginning to disobey him by flouting his orders, he has every right to choose to be alone. Your Majesty, don't you think that that is too harsh a statement? Oh no, I am the king of Omoezora Kingdom. My words are law. My words are law. Tell your fellow elders in council to stop circulating the lie that I am looking for another queen because I am not. Whoever started it must stop it. And may I also remind you that the Council of Elders have a sacred duty to this land, which is to guide you. And that is exactly what we are doing. Anadalia, um, as it is, I do not need your guidance, as this has everything to do with my personal life. I dare say that I do not need the guidance of the elders on other matters. For I sit on an ancestral stool, and the ancestors and the gods who watch over the stool day and night will watch over me and guide me. When you say that, Hmm? Are you by that statement insinuating that the council of elders is useless to you? Oh no, I'll be quick to educate you quickly and make you understand that leadership comes with hierarchy. As much as I appreciate the men in council, they must also understand that I am their king. And when a king feels that his men in council would not let him take decisions, as he feels it in his spirit, then he begins to feel alone. He begins to reconsider his alliance with the others in council. And at some point, might decide to dissolve the council. Set up another one. <sighs> Is that really new?
Don't you think that is a threat? Oh no, I am still your king. I am the king of Ume Zora. And what I have just said to you is what I am going to do. Okay, Bonnie. The buy is see no come up no more. Wet a cup of my dear. Come, I did have a pain, Mama. Where boom will come. She's dating a footballer. What's my business? Oh. oh my goodness. I am sorry, girls. I am so sorry. Baby. <laughs> eh? Why? What is this now? Eh? What kind of thing is this? Were you sleeping or something? <sighs> my love, I just apologized. Anyways. Good news is that His Imperial Majesty was here today. Mm -hmm. And he did something amazing that he hasn't told to me in a very, very long time. <coughs> you know that feeling, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, wait a minute. I am sh very sure what you meant is not what I understood. You said the king came here and, and both of you did what? And is it actually your business what I do with the one I address as my lord and king? <sighs> this, Ebube, it's so sickening. I mean, how could you be that cheap? If you wanted the king, why did you have to leave the palace? Enough of my private life already. Let's face what is at hand. You know, I kept myself indoors because I was trying to avoid you girls. Hmm? Mm -hmm. What was that? Why? Because I don't know who my enemy is and who my friend is. Ebube. Mm -hmm. Are you delusional or something? Oh, oh, okay, um, Mabel. <clears throat> that is not a nice thing to say, okay? Ebube, what is going on? Listen, we know that you are going through hard times right now. But we are your friends, okay? You can talk to us. Every problem has a solution. And you know the good thing about this? I don't have a problem with you. This goat right here is the one I have a problem with. Go to what? Ha! What happened? Ask the chicken what she went to the palace to do. Eh? Yeah? Mabel. You went to the palace? What for? <laughs> you can't find your tongue anymore. Hmm? This little nitwit here actually went to the palace to seduce my husband, thinking in her dumb skull that he would stoop so low as to begin her as one of his brides. Hey! Wow, wow, woo! Mabel! Mabel! How can you do a thing like this? What is it? Did I ask her to leave her husband? Did I ask her to leave the king? Did I ask her to leave the comfort of her home and come here? Did I ask her to leave her position and her role? What harm did I do? I only tried to fit in. She stepped out and I stepped in. And since when did it become evil for one to wish good for herself? I want the best for myself. My belly will soon. You are a devil straight from the pit of hell. 
You are not even qualified to be called a friend because you are a backstabber. Look uh, at you. I am not evil. If she wants the king, tell her to sit her dumb ass in her place in the palace. Shit! I don't have time for all of this nonsense. Get off my way. Leave already. Leave. You disgust me. Jeez. That is the one I call my friend. She's an idiot, like I said. You know, we women are actually our biggest problem. Honestly, she is not worthy to be called a friend. But hey, it will be. Whatever you do, just know that I am not like her. Okay? Don't just wait or sing. You know I love you so much. You are my friend. And I can never do anything to hurt you. I love you so much. Don't just wait me sing way with this idiot. Father. I am sorry I have not intimated you about the latest happenings in this kingdom. I want you to stay away from the king for now. Father, why? That stubborn young king is here to come in terms with the decision of the elders. He personally warned me. Ibininazo. Obioko. He's still the king. And still the custodian of the sacred offer of Umezora kingdom. And I don't want to play into his hand. One has to be careful with him. But, dear daughter, I want you to be rest assured that we must achieve our aim. Muabunnaga o no zafukwe abum ichekoko anara machi ni siakwa. So that explains his behavior when the princess introduced me to him. But father, what do we now do? My friends will mock me if this does not work out. And I'll be the one to start mocking you since you have refused to have sex. You! A graduate of anthropology will throw decorum into the gutters and start fighting because of a man to fear Kwa. Mother, I did not fight because of a man. I fought because of the king and there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. The more I look at you, the more you talk, the more I see a fool talking. Mother, you can call me names. I do not care. I want the king and I am proud that I made a move. And where has your moves ended you? Where? Amaka, you better get your two legs back to Enugu and concentrate on your job. Mama, I cannot go back to Enugu. I am on leave. Eh? So you took a leave just to come back and concentrate on this nonsense? Eh, Amaka? Hell. Oh. That you don't have sense or what? Just tell me. Ochora. 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 How many times did I call you? Does it not occur to you that you've just interrupted a heart to heart discussion between a father and his beloved daughter? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey! Sorry, I never knew 
that I interrupted a hard to hard talk. It's a father and a daughter. Father and daughter moment. What is it, Nike? Continue. Right? Pretending. About what? About you being in Amaka's camp. She's your god. Let me, let me pass. I am so, so ashamed of you. I am so ashamed of you and Amaka. What is wrong with you two? Fighting because of the king. A man that doesn't even know that both of you are existing. That is the man that is making you two to be enemies. Fighting over a war that will never finish. It's a maka that wants war. Yeah. And I will give it to her. Yes. Okay. She feels she's better than every other person here. If you can accept that, me, Nick, I will not. Yes. No problem. If one of you want to fight, no problem. But please, let this battle be alone. Don't even include my shadow. And stop saying us. <laughs> yeah. What will you do? I said it now. So you are now making it obvious to me that you are actually in her camp. Okay? Please stop putting words into my mouth because I never said that. And you know very well that I am above all this nonsense that both of you are doing. <laughs> you know, wait, 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 Neka. Let me even ask you. Have you met the king before? No. Does he know you? I mean, why are you fighting? Because I know obviously that the answer is no. You have not met him before. He doesn't know you. So why then are you fighting? I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. But let me tell you now. Hmm? I don't need you on my side. It was for the matter again. Don't follow me. Oh. Greetings indeed. You know my name. I am the king's personal assistant. And I'm aware you are here to see the king. Oh God, you know. I've been here for the past two hours. And nobody has said anything to me or even allowed me into the main building. Can I see your appointment confirmation email or test message? I don't have any. Um, see, I came on my own. I really want to see the king. I want to see him. Well, the king is not on seat. You cannot see him. And if the reason you want to see the king is so important, you can then pass the message through me. I will do well by letting him know you stop by and that's where I deliver your message. No. I will wait till he comes back. Unfortunately, I'm here to let you know that your welcome has expired. You will have to go and come back some other day. Thank you, Miss Indidi. the palace um I came I, I came to see the princess yes the princess 
You came to see the princess looking like this? Interesting. How am I looking? I mean, I'm dressed good. No, you should have come naked so that we know that you came to see the princess. What are you trying to insinuate? That I shouldn't come to the palace or what? I don't understand. Indeed. You are a slimy bitch. You are a betrayer. That is what you are. So you came here to see the king. And you've been acting like you're not interested in the king. Oh, yes. You said you've got my back. So what are you doing here? Why are you here? Oh, please. Shut up. Look at this one. Oh, because you are the daughter of your know we should run or maybe hide. Probably I should lick your feet. Oh, you think you're the only one that likes good things. No, I am irritated by good things. No, good life, no, they sweet me, Abby. Listen and listen good, let me tell you. You and Neka stand nowhere close to me because the king is mine. The king will choose me. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Really? The king yes. will choose you. Really? The king will choose you. Eh? It's me you just talk to like that. It's me you just talk to like that. It's me you talk to like that. It's me you talk to like that. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? You know who I am. You know who I am. You know who I am. Do you know who I am? I go pull your hair. I go pull your hair. I go pull your hair. So you know my brother. I am so disappointed in you, Amaka. How could you? If you must be a queen, you should carry yourself. Not fighting. My princess, I'm sorry. But I could not stand her betrayal. Amaka, the king is meant to marry four women. Not just you. So why the jealousy? I know the king is meant to marry four women. Yes, I know that. But well, she's my friend and we both stand equal chance. We're both born on the same AK market, so why would she be competing this day with me? I see. But you don't need to fight to prove a point. Imagine the king witnessed that. My princess, I'm really sorry. It will not happen again. Of course. It will never repeat itself again. Excuse me. Okay. Let me catch you. Did it? Let me catch you again. You will know that I don't know. Let me catch you. Whoever had a cup of Vito. <laughs> Just look at yourself. So it has degenerated to you fighting your friends because of the king? Let me even ask you. Does the king know that you even exist? Mama, I have the backing of the princess. I am the best among them all for the king. Mamaka, I have advised you as a mother. And you have refused to listen. You know, I will be here. I repeat, I will be here to laugh at you when you reap the seed you're sowing today. Mama, please, please. I do not have the strength for all of this. I've had a very, very bad day. Can you just let me be? Hmm. You know, sometimes I wonder. I wonder if I am still the one that gave birth to a fool like you. Continue. You know? Whoever the cup of Vito. Your desperation will not get you anywhere. I advise you stay in your father's house. Sir, please. I really need to see the king. I know that you can make this possible. Please. Of course it's possible. But not when your reason is not genuine. Look, young lady. The king is a busy man. And I'm sure you know that. Sir, my reasons are genuine. 
very, very genuine. Please. What is thy name again? Ndidi, sir. Ndidi. I will advise you stop coming here. Because the third time you will try this, you will not like the way I'm going to handle it. Good day, Miss Ndidi. Now that it's impossible for me to break this guy, what else will I do to get the king? I don't know why you're looking at me like that. Up and down. It was brought to my notice that a group of young girls gather at the entrance of the palace were constituting nuisance, fighting themselves. I was also informed that a number of them are your friends. No. Just one of them is my friend. Just one. Up on now. What is going on? Have you joined the group of individuals in this community who are bent on searching for a wife for me? Not at all. It was just a coincidence. And it will not happen again. Of course, it is not going to happen again. Because going forward, you're going to be in charge of ladies coming to the palace. I am going to be happy to engage and interface with any lady who has something important, something that will move our community forward. That would be good. Anything outside that, tell the person to leave. Am I clear? Clear. This will not happen again. Whoever the cup of it, let him wear the crown. No, do not fight. Why are you embarrassing yourself again and again? Yeah, Maka. Why? Does the king even know that you exist? Mama, don't say that. Don't say that. He knows. Mba. I've met him before. Mba no. Eka Maka, you're wrong. Your mother is right this time. You don't go fighting in front of the palace. Huh? You just go and go Hey. Oh no. Oh no, we'll call it speed is speed. Eh? This thing here is not supposed to engage anybody in a fight anywhere. Why are you mentioning only the front of the palace as if she has the right to engage anybody in a fight in any other place? <laughs> Father, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I just couldn't stand her betrayal. I promise you it will not happen again. It's okay, my daughter. Ekamaka, <laughs> my daughter. You are better than all your competitors. You don't have to fight anybody. Whenever that stubborn young king of ours decides to come down from his high horse, I promise you, you will be the first to be chosen as queen. Okay? Thank you, Father. And I will call you Uga Wese. <laughs> so you don't have to go fighting. Ugo Malumana Yao. Hmm. Amaka. 
even if your father is deceiving you. You shouldn't deceive yourself. Tell yourself some home truths, Amaka. The question here is, do you even stand the chance with the king? Will you shut up? Ochora, shut up! I don't like that too. And don't you try it in my house again, ever! Hmm. 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 Amade, listen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't like what you said the last time we had a meeting with the king. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm highly disappointed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you don't have to blame me at all. Can't you see that the king is under pressure? And we are not following the right way in doing this thing. Excuse me? Yes. Which other right way do you want us to follow? No, tell me! Which right way should we have followed other than the way we are following, which is the people's tradition? Yes, our tradition. That is the way we are following. And that's the right way as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Ike, mm -hmm. let me tell you. I think we are demanding much from the king. How? How many of the kings we had in this, our kingdom, that have done what we are asking this king to do? Uh, look, we have never had this type of situation in the past. Mm -hmm. Not in the history of this our kingdom. Yes, there has never been a time when a queen, a queen, that swore the oath of allegiance to the royalty, mm -hmm. ever left the past mm -hmm. unannounced. Under any pretense, it has never happened. Mm -hmm. Therefore, now that it has happened, there is only one solution. Mm -hmm. The king must marry four wives, each born on a different market day. Okay? You understand me? Mm -hmm. Four wives. That is the only way we can regulate out of this situation. The king must marry four wives. From what I can see, this rule has at least its usefulness. How can a man marry four wives the same day in this modern age? It will tantamount to total disaster. Hey, 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 total Amadi. disaster. Amadi. Yes? Why would you do a thing like that? No, why would you qualify romance with disaster? For what? There is nothing disastrous about romance. Eh? If it's romantic to marry four wives, there is nothing disastrous about it. So remove that word disaster. Please. Let us face the fact. There's nothing romantic about a man having four wives. There's nothing romantic about it. Eh? Let us face the fact and tell ourselves the truth. I'm free, the young man. Amade. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the next time I see your son, I'm going to advise him strongly to take you for psychiatric examination, possible treatment. Because as far as I am concerned, and from the manifestation of your demeanor, you are a very sick man. Hey, come here. Let me finish with you. Eh? Come! Foolish man. Eh? Well, if you like, call me names. It doesn't bother me. All I know is that we must stop forcing the king to do what he does not want to do. Eh? Amaka, I'm off to women's meeting, eh? Make sure you prepare dinner. People are allow somebody to rest in this house. Wait, what did you just say? Do you even expect me to still cook while you're around? Mother, even if I'm around, I am on leave and I should be resting. Am I not supposed to enjoy my leave? Amaka, Wait, let us assume that you are going to be the king's wife. Is it this your lazy attitude that you will take to the palace? Let me remind you that the queen that left was doing everything on her own. That was her standard. That was for her. She will not impose that on me. Mm. 
Let me go and come back. And you did not prepare any food. We will know, you and I, who is the mother and who is the daughter. You are the mother, I am the daughter. Heaven and earth knows that you are the mother and I am the daughter. Continue. What is it already now? Princess, stop calling me. You call somebody, they don't pick. You should stop already. Princess, my foot. Why are you calling me? Stop calling me already. You sent for me, my princess. Yes, I sent for you. Yes. It's quite so unusual of the king. He's not back yet and he's getting late. And I'm aware he went out alone. Um, my princess, you can reach out to him. He actually called earlier to say he was fine. Right. Mom, we see the, the, the great man of Kumbayajara came to me. Your friend is here. I'm here in our great palace. Oh. Where is the king? Our palace is in order. Huh. Who allowed this drunkard before my presence? I am here to see my friend, the king. Huh? The king of Umezara kingdom. The only good king that you people want to talk to, king of Omas. But he refused. So, where is the king? Why are you here moping? <coughs> Send this drunkard out of my presence right now. Oh. Are you talking to a palace? Even you know that you cannot take me out of this palace. Even before they give you this royal regalia that you're wearing. Are you coming to the palace? Even this one cannot lead me out of this palace. You know, our palace, even before they give you this royal regalia. Huh? Are you coming here to hold with you? With the late king. Even you know, you cannot throw me out. I got about the friend to the higher mighty. Uh, no, no, you recognize me. Thank God. Please come. The king is not around. Please. It's okay. You mustn't touch me to tell me that the king is no, not around. No, I, I am not touching you. Please. You will have to go and come back another time. I was expecting you. Don't touch me again. Is that right? I want to stand up. You can, uh, yes, yes, you can. It, 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 all right, okay, okay. You only yes. gave me a miracle. Yes. Stop yes. completely. Yes. Thank you. So, right. Yeah, it's a reason I'm leaving this palace. You understand? Nobody can push me out of this palace. Of course. This is the palace of Umezor Akendo. If anybody tries it, I'll come back here and burn down the whole place. Pour seeds everywhere. And after 10 days, I'll come back. The game will collapse. Agaba, you have just threatened the security of the palace. You can't be arrested, you know. Give security of you. Arrest me. Nevertheless. Ne Actually, that yeah. is what I want. Uh, nevertheless. You I want to be close to the bottle. That is the reason why I'm here. Well understood. Closer to the bottle. As you can see, the king is not around. You can go now. I will personally come and call you. He's that back. is the main issue. Yes. I would know that, that the king is not around. Exactly. I don't know how to... I have to go back. No, 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 we go front. We go fro forward ever. Nobody goes back. Yeah. Right? It's Next. not like you're controlling me or making me leave my back. No, no, no. no. no problem. I got by the friend to the higher mighty. I, <laughs> oh, well, I just noticed. You're not shaving. You oh, look good. Uh, oh, even you too, you look good. Yeah. <laughs> I got back to. <laughs> come back, come on. I've Let told you before. Stop touching me. Oh, no. If you miss your girlfriend or your wife, you go back to them. When the king is back, I will, I will personally come and call you. I have a friend to the crowd. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I got by the friend to the high and mighty. All right. You're not shaving your beard. You don't used to be like this, bro. Even you too. How are you feeling? Yeah. I got by the high and mighty. Don't you have been following her all the way. I used to see her. I was not like that. The king is not. Okay. How about you? 
This outfit actually looks like our Adaba Basu. But it suits you. I got my friend to the high of my team. Of course it's me. I am a friend to the ground. I like it. You know what to do? <laughs> Take care of our palace. Oh, I will. Yes. Okay. I have to. But I avoid the princess. Let's go get here. Don't worry. Listen. I will tell the girl at the AK that you are looking for her. I got my friend Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> I will call you when the king is back. Make the sure you take care of our palace. And we it's very important. And I'll find the person. The friend to the high and mighty, Agaba. Thank you. Uh, it's okay, you are shouting. Yes. Shout out. My lord and my king. The table is set. I made something really nice. You need to eat now so you can leave. It's running late. Leave and go away. It would interest you to know that the king is not going anywhere. <sighs> this must be some joke. Don't, don't tell me you plan to spend the night here. That is not right. You can't do that. How do you define right? Nobody has the perfect definition for the word right. Right is subjective. The king wanting to have dinner, you know, spend time here with you and never go back to the palace may not be right to you, but may be right to me, someone else who hears it. Uh, you're chasing me off to go where? A palace that your absence has made to be not so peaceful anymore. I want to be where you are. Eh? <laughs> Nana, I don't. I don't know what to say, but I just. I feel it's not right for you to spend the night here. You need to go back to the palace. Please. I just love it when you call me Nana. <laughs> and then I call you Olue Bube. <laughs> you are the love of my life. And every time I say that, I know within me that I am not mistaken. <laughs> Thank you, Nam. You have a choice to make. Is it that you come with me, we go back to the palace where you belong? Or I continue to stay here? Uh, think about it while I see what you have made. Uh, I actually made something really nice and I am sure you would love it. Uh, mm. But that shouldn't make you spend the night here. When you're done eating, you uh, need to go. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Seized your worries. My brother is unusual. You never informed anyone that you were traveling. All of a sudden, you decided to slip out of the palace. <sighs> is there anything you are not telling me? Am I answerable to you? Abu now, are you my mother? No, you're not. Bop, 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 bop. Step aside, I need to go up and get ready for the day. Don't die. Step aside. But I'm your sister. I should know. Hold it for a minute. Can 
you swear on the grave of my father that you are ignorant of where my brother spent the night? In as much as I know he is your brother, you need to realize now that he is the king. I will advise you to allow him to live his life. Moreover, he is an adult. Excuse me, my princess. Where on earth did they bring this guy from? He is too crafty for my liking. And I will deal with him. What exactly do you want? I ask, what exactly is your problem, for goodness sake? What are you doing in my house? For... It is Monday morning, and you are here doing what? My love, eh? Adam Nobi, look, Monday morning is meant for school children. Better still, a civil servant. Look, I am a businessman. Yes, Mugu Jinko. You understand? So, I am here this morning with this token of 10 million naira to say I am sorry for the way I reacted the other time. Uh, Shut up. Okay. You know, the only reason I allowed you to come into my house is for me to confirm if you are running mad or something. But obviously, you are normal. So what is your problem? Good. Look, look, is absolutely normal. I am 100% intact. The only thing that is remaining for me to be complete now is you giving me your heart. You will see, I will be fine. I want to see if you me again. You understand? Obviously, you are not normal. Yeah. For you to wear this dog chain on your neck and come here this Monday morning when your mates are busy out there making money, you are raving mad. You would turn around, carry that thing you brought in that bag and get the hell out of my house because the next time I see you here, you will spend the rest of your life in prison. Obim. Carry your bag and leave. Obim. Even if you want to send Amnonia Nego out of your house, please, I want you to take this money. Jesus go Christ. and squander this money. Yes, just go and squander this money. I can even add more. The only thing I want you to do for me is, while squandering this money, make a video and send it to me so that Amnonia Nego will sit down I will relax in my house. I will be watching you eating my money. I will be happy. Where if you go and swing ya? As I live anywhere, a woman is our kingdom. It is always good to see. You. I greet you. Ah. So how is the kingdom? Well, we are ruling the best way we can. May the gods continue to guide you right. Say. I am actually here for something very important. Okay. I'm listening. I know you have not been on the same page with the elders and council, but I came to find out. Have you bothered to take a pause and ponder on the possible solution to the problem? Wifey, do I take this to be that you're considering taking sides with or no one is cause? Not at all. I am just facing reality here. A, a man like you who eats the best of things should not be living 
without a wife under his roof. No. You, you should have a wife who stays here with you. You know, we are not just talking about any man here. We are talking about a king. Not actually any king, but a king who rules over a kingdom as elevated as Umwe Zora. So because of my reputation as a king of Umwe Zora, I should go ahead and marry women that I cannot keep my heart to. I'm already emotionally committed to Ibube, the queen of this land, my wife. And you see all that talk by the elders of how a king should marry four wives when his wife leaves him does not apply to me because my wife is next to him. And that brings me to the core reason I am here. Your wife has not left you because the money you paid on her head as her bride price is still there. Her family has not returned it. She has not even asked her family to return it. It simply means that there is something between you both. Is there no way you can find a reconciliation and solve this problem once and for all? Because I am convinced there is no problem without a solution. I would find a solution to this problem. I promise you. My darling, I decided to serve you something. Wow, thank you very much, my dog. You are welcome. Thank you. you. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm. To long life, uh -huh. more money, mm -hmm. more life, uh -huh. beautiful things to come. Oh, yes, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Look at you. Mm. You are glowing. It don't you. even look disturbed at all. Why should I be disturbed? I am living my life every day as it comes. Mm, mm -hmm. That's the spirit. Thank you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Have you forgiven me, Belle? Well, as far as I'm concerned, forgiveness comes when one asks for forgiveness or even show a little bit of remorse. Mm. How can I forgive one who hasn't even thought of asking me to forgive her? Mm. You are right. You know, I just want you to free your mind. Mm. I am doing absolutely fine. I hold no grudge against her. Mm. I am just happy I found out who she is in time. Wonderful. <laughs> you know what? I am always here for you. Okay? Aww. And I want you to know that I am going to do everything in my power to make sure that you and the king get back together. Really? Yes. Even if it means me sacrificing a very fat cow to the gods, <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> Amanda, you are not serious, are you? You see? I was able to crack you up. <laughs> yes, it's funny. <laughs> and people will be disappointed to see a lady taking a cow to a deity. That sounds like a script from an ancient movie. On the contrary, <laughs> my dear, if a lady needs to visit the deity, she should do so boldly. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, that's the religion of our fathers and we should be proud of it. Now you sound like my grandmother. Ah, reincarnation they say is real. <laughs> How are you? Hi. I, I saw you when you were going inside. So I decided to stand here and wait for you. I don't understand. I've been in here for a few hours. You mean you've been standing here waiting for me? Of course. Amanda. Look, 
Ezego has been standing under this hot sun. Huh? Uh, please, um, I want you to come inside. There is something important I want to discuss with you. Inside where? Inside my car. The sun is too much. No. Let's talk here. Uh, uh, c uh, come on, my dear. You are too beautiful. And Ezego cannot allow you to be standing under this hot sun. Look. Come into one of my small machines. Kaisi Kwoki. Huh? You can't be standing here. My dear, look. Ezeko is talking to you. Come inside. Come, come, come. If I asked you to stop here because um, I'll be picking up my car from the mechanic at the next junction. So it's only appropriate that we discuss here. I've heard you. And Amanda, I am going to be very sincere here. I want you to help me talk to your friend. Yes, I love your friend so much. I love her to the extent that I can give her whatever she wants on earth. I am ready to take good care of her. Please. If you can do this for me, I can assure you that you stand his chance to achieve a lot from me. So you mean you want to marry the queen? Yes, I want to marry the queen. She's no longer the queen. Look, there is one saying that goes, that means more I have a lot. I have I can give your friend anything she wants on it. Just help me talk to her. I love her so much. Chief Dede, I know you have the power to turn the sky from blue to whatever color that pleases you. I am glad you know that. I've heard so much about you from the main market. Oniego, no, no, no. Odogu Diego. Nefekasiego, nelikasiego. Ofu mwafrubo ebo nenu kuku is talking. I will advise you to stop nurturing this thought because it's not going to work. Why? Uh, why won't I say that? Come on, the queen still belongs to the king. The king has not made an official pronouncement that the marriage has ended. Okay, let me ask you, Chifomega. Do you want to go into the queen and then join your ancestors? Amanda, what do you mean by me joining my ancestors? I am here to play, not to die. She still belongs to the king. And she once told me that the king still comes here to make out with her. For what? No, I, are you joking or what? I'm telling you, the oath that she took with the offer is still very much valid. And you know in Umu Eze Ora, they do not joke with their customs and tradition. So I'm advising you to look elsewhere and forget about the queen. Listen, let me tell you something. Onyego, I got you good temptation. Look, the kind of money that I have, I can reverse any custom and tradition I or have whatever. To leave now, okay? Come, for you to know that I'm serious, let me give you a check off. Please, I do not need your check. I just want to go. Seriously. All this, all this, all this talk, all this cook and boot talk, you just to discourage me. I'm going through that gear. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. 
I hope that you're not here for one of your tantrums. No, not at all. As a matter of fact, I'm here to say I'm sorry for the role I played lately. I was only looking out for my brother. That's okay. Your actions were based on your level of understanding of the situation. Oh, please. Whatever you are doing, I just want you to know that it is time to search for solution. Things are not going on well, and you know it. Up now, you must remember that patience is a virtue and royals like you and I must have it. I will not be quick to make a hasty decision because things are not going well. That might be destructive. That's fine. Take your time. At least I'm now relieved. You know you quite well that you are doing something. I am doing something, of course. My brain never sleeps. I'm always wearing my thinking cap. And I can assure you that this problem will be solved in style, of course. Relax. <laughs> Mother, why are you always not on our side? We are family, which do not support your husband and daughter. That is because both of you are always involving yourself in things that are not necessary. Amaka. I know you have refused to have sense, but I will continue to tell you the truth. Mother, I desire a change in status, and Father is supporting me. Mm. So because you desire a change of status, that is why you keep fighting your friends. I don't blame you. Mother, we are not just talking about any man. We are talking about the king. The king, mother. So a woman who desires to be with the king will go about fighting everyone. <sighs> Amaka, this is sickening. And I am disappointed in you. Finally, when I succeed in this, I know you would have a change of understanding, mother. I know you will. Just support me a little. Please, allow me to rest. Mother, just one percent of so. Amaka! <laughs> wait, wait a minute. You mean you said that to him? Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> you know, I listen to weird stories. And, you know, my father was very good in history. Mm -hmm. You need to have seen the fear written all over his face. I can't believe what I am hearing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, this is a huge relief. I know, right? Thank you for getting him off my back. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't see him anywhere close to my gate again. That I am very sure of. Ah. Ha! I do not like that man at all. He thinks he can take other people's rights. Huh. He should just look for single ladies to mingle with and leave you the heck 
alone. He thinks he can take advantage of your vulnerability. My darling, you wouldn't want to know how much this man is willing to offer just so I could jump on his bed. Jump on his bed and that would be his last. But you know the truth here. I really don't believe in all those things. The fact that I have refused to be with any man is because I just want to have my self-respect. It has got absolutely nothing to do with a man coming into me and dying. You have to face the truth, my dear. You belong to the king. Yes. You have to go back to the palace and set things straight. If it must interest you, a bunch of elders are set to dethrone your husband. I know. And I sincerely wish there is something I can do about it. Come on, girlfriend. <clears throat> you don't have to be confused, okay? All you have to do is take your time and make a decision. All right? Thank you so much, Amanda. Mm. You have been such a great support. Mm. I don't even know where to start. Start from somewhere. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Is that all? What else am I supposed to say? So you don't know how to win praises on someone. My sister, you go go market, go thief. What happens to Apple now? Uh -huh. Fine girl. <laughs> what happened to better picking? <laughs> what happened to Hachalugo? the wife. <laughs> I saw you through the camera. Why have you been standing here peeping? Are you a traitor? No, sir. <coughs> My name is Neka. I'm here to see the, the prince. I'm oh, sorry, sir. I mean the princess. I see you are confused. Nevertheless, come in. Thank you. So, this is why you are here. Yes. I want you to be very careful with you. Ono whose daughter is too boastful because you are her friend. She feels she's better than every one of us. And as for that one called Ndidi, she has been running her mouth, saying so many bad things about the, about the king that she's too big to fight for the king. Only for her to try to scheme her way into the, into the palace. And even fought with Amaka because of that. Are you trying to tell me that you have never fought with anyone on King's account? Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, my princess, I've never. I'm too responsible to be caught in that way. See, <laughs> very responsible to come here. Standing before me to backstab your friends. Anyways, you all are wasting your time. My brother, the king, is not even interested in the elder's decision. Talk less of unproductive and jobless maidens like you and your cliques of friends. My princess, I mean no disrespect, but I'm not any of those things you've mentioned. See, if we become friends, I mean close, close friends, you understand me better, not like that. Find your way out of the palace right now. My princess, I said find your way out. Now! surprised 
that you still have the face to be walking around this kingdom, you should bury your face in shame. I don't know why you will say that. I am Didi, your daughter's good friend. And I used to come to your house. Exactly. That is why I am talking to you. You just called yourself my daughter's friend. That means both of you are together in this shameful act of disgracing yourself and fighting for the king. Honestly, Ma, you are attacking me for nothing. I am not fighting for the king. Mm. I am not. Mm -mm. Don't even try to defend yourself for I know what is playing out. Mm -hmm. Don't. Others are in their houses being productive with their lives. And what are you doing? You're here. Fighting for the king that is not even interested in you. He is not seeing you. I don't know how else you want me to explain this to you. Okay, let me say it again. I am not fighting for the king. I am not. Look at King Lemu. Ndidi. Ndidi Amaka. Ma. Let me even ask you something. Hmm? The queen, before she left the palace, did you hear anywhere, from anywhere by any means, that she fought to have the king? Mm -mm. She was in her father's house, being productive with her life, when the king went to her people to ask for her hand in marriage. Continue. Zuzu from Noza. Zuzu from She's right. I mean, why are we fighting for something that is not even worth it? Please. Asked to see me. What do you want? That I asked to see. What is this mood for exactly? Why, why is your why is your face like this? I mean, I've been calling you for all I care. I've been trying to reach you, and you're not taking my calls. And so I came to find out what could the problem be exactly. You know, the last time I checked. It is not compulsory that you must take any call that comes into your phone. But that's by the way. What do you want? Like I said, I have been calling you and you're not picking up. So I came to see you. What is the problem? My darling, it is not compulsory to pick any call that comes to your phone. But that's by the way. I see you are unrepentant after what you've done. Unrepentant? Over what exactly? Over what you did. To me, Bupe. That was wrong. Yes. That was very, very wrong of you. Listen, there is no way that we are going to be friends after what you did to her, even if she forgives you. Babe, you are dead and buried to me. Amanda, you said it would be. And not you. You are not Ibube. And I don't even see the reason why you would be drinking paracetamol for another man's headache. I didn't do anything wrong to either of you. I only wanted my good. So I don't know why you keep calling me evil. But that's by the way. If you don't want me to be your friend anymore, then I mean, I would bounce and allow you to have your life. Oh, shush! And bounce you shall. Out. I don't want to be your friend again. Never. Not now, not tomorrow, not next tomorrow, not next year. Never! Amanda, and I do not want to be friends with narcissists. I do not want to be friends with people who have unreasonable appraisal of their importance. You are not important to me anymore. Neither are you. Of course, you should know me better than that. And then she what? goes. Be gone! Get off! Your presence irritates me. Look at her. Get out! To think I once called this fool 
my friend. What kind of friend enemy is this? The queen sword do ogologo. Look at her. Short in Come Come and take now. Come and marry the king. It's your I will personally send you to an early grave. I do not like the fact that you are living a life of isolation. Is this how you are going to keep living your life? Amanda, what will you have me do? Listen, all eyes will be on me. I don't like this. Honestly, I am your friend and I will tell you the truth. This is not going down well with me at all. If you cannot open up to someone, then you have to get a solution to the problem yourself. I wish I know what the solution is. I don't. You have to know that a problem shared is half solved. I can bet that this problem that ultimately made you leave your husband's house you have not shared with anyone. How then are you going to get a solution? Can we talk about something else? I am tired. You are right. I need to relax, please. I knew you would say that. <sighs> If you are serious about this, I will support you. Yes! For failing to listen to anyone, the king deserves to be dethroned. Huh? Agumba, you're right. Yes! That is the only way forward. Okay. That boy must be dethroned for another person to take over that throne. Oh no. Yes. Uh, 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 forgive my curiosity, eh? Uh, who is this person, the next person uh, that is qualified to take over as king? Agumba. Who else is more qualified than uh, Ono? Yeah? Yes. You know that um, the previous king has only one son. And he's the one sitting on the throne now. And our new king has no hair. So, uh, and um, I am the most qualified now. But if the kingdom decides to give it to any other family, I, I don't mind. <laughs> but, but that is not my problem now. My problem is seeing that that boy is removed <laughs> from that room. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be the happiest person if this works out. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, because I know that uh, once you become the king, eh, you as you are stepping into the kingship, I am stepping into the owner who ship. Eh? Wow. Eh? You become the king, I become the owner who wow. else? Eh? They will have the kingdom in their grasp. Yeah, so exactly I'm behind you. how it's supposed to be. Hmm? But I advise we should not be celebrating it now. Eh? We have to put down structures first. That is not a problem. We can put up our structures as quickly as possible. You understand? Yeah, we can start working on it right now. Uh, but we listen, we don't need to involve uh, a chair, Madi and the Okurondo. In fact, even the you know, those people are so scared of the king. They listen to him and they will do everything he asks them to do. But we can make it on our own. Even though you are away from Okwana Sanya, that one won't even support us at all. He won't even listen to us. So you and I can work it out and achieve it. 
I trust you and I believe in your judgment. We have to do what? Perfect our plans. I mean, we have to see it to perfection. Come to my house later. I have something for you. You know my usual. <laughs> you know my usual. You know my usual. You know my usual. Ocho Roma. Yezi bo munye ono un zafro kwe. This one that your face is like this. Udade wo. Na I am scared. Scared? Of what? Na Starting the process of dethroning a sitting king is not an easy task. There are demons and spirits that will rise in his favor, in his defense. Are you sure you still want to do this? Ochora, if this is why you are worried, then you don't have any need to be. Umwe Zora wants a responsible king. And that peacock that small boy sitting on that throne is no good sign of a responsible king. So, forget everything about him. Stop no. worrying. Oh no, we're calling him a boy does not change the fact that he is a king. And to me, apart from his marital challenge, now he has done so well for this kingdom. Hmm? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What do you mean by he has done so well for which kingdom? Umwezora kingdom? Ibiakwa. No. I'm facing reality. I am facing facts here. The king has done well for us in terms of influencing the government to come and do credible things for us here in Umwezora. Yes. Has he done done well? Woman, your opinion is not needed in this particular issue. Okay? So, save your advice to yourself. Because you're privileged to be the wife of Onowun Zafro. How will I stop this man? Eh? This is not good for this kingdom. And he knows. Why is he not listening to anyone? Hi. What evil do you speak of, Agaba? Oh, wait. I saw it flash across my eyes. As if I'm the eyes of the gods. So people are plotting, plotting evil against this kingdom. Good of people, I think. I don't know how I see them. But some people are plotting evil against this kingdom. Hmm. A great evil. A evil that will put this uh, kingdom on a reverse gear. Yeah, I will speed that to reverse. Huh? But with Agaba, I know you to be. A serious human being who will not say what is not sure of. Okay, see. You know, even when you consume a lot of alcohol, Shukwa Kabiyama has given you a significant gift of seeing. One way or the other, I want to believe you may have seen a glimmer of their faces. I mean, these people that are planning this evil. Who are they? Thank you very much for the compliment. But don't worry about that. Huh? You are here. Soon enough, you know them. Their plot is against the king. Yes, against our king. And if I was the king, I would use the sacred staff against him. To strike them with madness, Otolo. 
Let's start. Well, I don't know how they came. But who if he? The king must act on them. Or they will act on him. Huh? I hope you're not that alone. They are very wicked. I know. The Fuakapa to come here to say this means there is something that is being planned. Mm -hmm. Agaba has not even seen it clearly, so we don't know who they are. But if this evil plot is towards the destruction of this kingdom, I pray that this day will be the end. Let it fade. Is it? Let it fade on a market day. Is it? I don't mind to you. Is it? Let it fade on all the market day. Is it? Let it end on a full market day. Is it? And let it fade on a full market day. Is it? Yes. No, no, what is it doing? They are already dead. Is it? Give a look at them. What do I call them? Yes. Oh, nobody can spoil our great kingdom. And you are one of the best here. The gods will listen to your prayers. You see, oh, this doesn't look like it's from here. Uh -huh. You have the greatest. Look, I can't have the greatest. I will go with this one. Do you like it? If you permit it, you keep. I love it. My companion. Go with it. Thank you, Ichi. Ichi, as a matter of fact, there are more. But. Whoever the cat will feed, let him wear. Do you mean to tell me that you are not aware of the evil plan that they are planning against this royal family? <clears throat> My princess, your brother is not one of those kings that the state government installed and gave staff of office. Your brother is a king ruling from an ancestor's tree. And you need to know that no man can conspire against him and succeed. Why do I have this feeling that you are partnering with the enemies of this royal family? So pull the carpet under our feet. I have told you this before and I am saying it again. I am a man under the royal oath. There is no way I can conspire against the royal staff of Umezora. Never. I have a message for Ono. Can you go deliver that message for me? Ono Unzafukwe is already working against the king. I will never have anything to do with him until the gods are done with him. Uh, you sounded very serious when we spoke over the phone. Now you're here. Your words are few. There is a plan by some people to unseat you as the king of Umezora kingdom. I'm aware of it. And I'm not going to do sleep over that. You know, each time I hear you speak, I feel revived in my spirit. Because you have what it takes to neutralize all the plans of the evil ones. Of course, you remember that the ancient staff, the offer of Umezora, is still with me. And when the time comes, I shall do with it what I must. And that brings me to the reason that I am actually here. I feel we should, you should engage the services of a DBFA who will help you ascertain 
if that offer is compromised. Well, if you are, would you say something like that? Why? The staff was with you. Under your custody, as you said, when your beautiful wife left the palace. That's a sign of compromise. If the staff was still as powerful as it should be, that wouldn't have happened. The queen wouldn't have left. Hmm. If there is wisdom in what you have just said. But the question is how? How is it that the staff can get compromised? Those are the things we need to find out. Look at you. There are so many things going wrong around you. All signs of compromise, possible compromise and that of all. And everything is pointing towards there is a problem. And there is only one way we can find out what the problem is, and that is engage the services of Onyana Bafa. I don't know why you are here, and I don't know why you are looking at me like that. So this is why you've been giving me attitude. You feel you and your father can skim royalty from our family? Up now, I do not know what you are talking about. <laughs> Fine. Now I understand it very well. Do not call me by my name. Because you no longer see me as the princess. Are you now the princess? I do not know why you want to put words into my mouth. I did not tell you or anyone that I see myself as the princess. Why did you stop coming to the palace? And why have you not been taking my course? You made it clear to me that I was wasting my time with your brother. So I decided to respect your stand. Where did I go wrong? Well, I am not here to banter words with you. I want you to go and warn Omo your father. When he returns from wherever he went to, tell him that he should not force me to face him. Because if I do, he will find no place to hide. Excuse me. Is that supposed to be a trick? It is what I am going to do. Obalanze, should I take this to mean that you are now scared of my sister? I am not scared of her in any way, Your Majesty. She is just acting on youthful exuberance. And I decided to follow her lead in order to Educate her that their plans will not see the light of the day. How sure are you about this? 100% sure, Your Highness. Ono Zafukwe and his cohorts are nowhere with their lives. Truth will always triumph over evil. I have also been reliably informed that um, they are working with youths. 
That's more reason they should be ignored, Your Majesty. The only thing I pray for every day is for the Queen to return to the palace and everything will return back to normal. The Queen. I miss her too. From what I have observed, there's something about royalty and the palace that unsettles my wife, the Queen. Every time she's here, it's almost as if peace eludes her. And that is why she left. Not because I did anything to her. And we cannot trace whatever this problem is and solve it, my king. Your king is not sleeping. I'll solve this problem, I promise you. Your Majesty. I am so sorry, my princess. I was misled. As the youth leader was only fighting for the interest of my people, we thought the king was the evil one. But now I know better. Emeka, I want you to stop every movement that is causing problems in the kingdom. The kingdom is divided because of some people who were misled, thinking there is a problem where there is no problem. I want you to use your good office and return peace and unity to this kingdom. I understand the urgency of what you just said, and I will do something about it immediately. Thank you. Send me your details, your account details. I will wire something to you as soon as I relax in the palace. My princess, you don't need to bother yourself wearing anything to me. We are only fighting to restore the sanity in the soul of our land. And we will do that without expecting anything from you or anybody. Whoever the cup of feet, let him wear the crown. Oh. Do not fight a man ordained by God. Yeah, cause you will never, never win. Um, Emeka, you see, uh, 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 what is that you're talking about? Huh? How can you say that an elder like me is lying? Me? Listen, I'm telling you that the king does not have the interest of whom is at heart. That is the truth. Ichie, apart from what you and Ono told me, I have listened to others, including the respected Obuifu Kwan Asanya. I don't want to incur the wrath of the gods. Please. Well, why are you talking like a weakling? Yeah? A youth leader like you. Vibrant youth leader. All of a sudden, you are chickening out like a weakling. Why? I'm only applying wisdom and common sense. Ichi Agumba. Huh? What I'm fighting is for the interest of the people of Umwezora community. Please. That is the reason we chose you in the first place. That is the reason we, 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 got, we, we got you involved in this movement. You understand? Because we know you very well. Eh? Make sure. eh? I want you to go and tell Ono to go and sort out any personal issues he has with the king. Because he's the evil one here. And I don't want to have anything to do with him. You people have been lying against the king. The king is innocent. Go and tell him I said so. Who we'll be and watch this boy? How how would I how would I tell or know who that uh, the, Oh God. No. Who are we going to use now to achieve this? Whoever the cap of feet, oh, let him wear the crown, oh. Do not Why fight him out of this.
I got. Mother, I do not understand. What have I done again? Hmm. Amaka, the princess came here. Princess came here and you did not even use that opportunity to apologize to her. And why on earth will I apologize to her? An important question that demands an urgent answer. Ochora, why will my daughter apologize to a member of her sinking family? Why? Why are you misleading this girl in Zafunope? I am not the one misleading her. You are the one trying all you can to turn my daughter into a weakling. How did I turn her into a weakling? Hey, shut up! I don't want you to say any other thing. Ochora, you are supposed to support your family. Do you ever give it a thought what it means to be the queen of Umwe's own hey, kingdom? Ma, 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 ma. Hold your queenship! For it's not in my nature to take what does not belong to me. Please, let me even say it. Let me say it now. When it will boomerang, let me hold my ears. When it will boomerang, it will not boomerang on me. People should continue. Continue. Ochora, if not for one thing, if not for one thing, I will curse you for insulting my family. Mama, it's okay. Don't yourself. You're already doing well. Eka makamwam. Just try and finish what you've already started. Eka makamwam. When I watch you talk, I see myself. You are the good daughter of a good father. You know me, your father. Oh no, Nzafu. I will not start what I will not finish. I still give it to you that you are a man of intelligence. Well, I, I take that as a compliment, my princess. And hopefully you're not going to deal with me like you're always threatened. Whatever. Do you think me taking it upon myself to go to Olu's house is worth it? To be honest with you, my princess, that was not necessary. The king is still on top of the matter, joining issues with people lower than the king is not necessary. They cannot do anything. You speak with so much confidence. And that is because we are working with a chosen king that has the blessings of the ancestors. People's unnecessary hate on him has no place. Who is the man waiting for the king? Oh, I don't know yet, but I'll soon find out. I have to leave Namia, princess. Thank you. He's so committed to the service of this family. I don't even know why I'm here tonight. Chief Dede, on your mama. You see, I have seen that you have given the totality of your soul to this woman. That is why I came. Um, on your mama, our own prophet, uh, you know very well, Chief Dede. Yeah. 
Do not fall in love. Onye ego had to fall in love. Manangi pazua. Or this is onye ego. Eh? And assume it's in the ocean of love. You understand? Meanwhile, this particular woman, since I have been falling for love, this particular one, the each, it seems as if she's inside my brain. Nasa and the signature, I am seeing her. So I don't know what else to do. And this same woman we are talking about is still married to Anofo. Uh -uh. I don't understand what you mean by married to Anofo. Yes, she was once married to a king, but they are now separated. Besides, she did not uh, give any child to this king. So I am seeing her as someone who will bear all my children. Huh? Chief Dede, if you want to marry this woman, then pay off the offer. Uh, uh, what do you mean? I don't understand. This lady was married to the king. And this king is the arrowhead of the offer. Uh -huh. And because the king still sees her as his wife, therefore she is married to the offer. But if you want to make this woman your wife, you have to offer money to the king. Huge amount of money that can bestow Anze on someone. Uh -huh. When he accepts, then the bonds between the woman and the king is broken. Then you can go for this woman. Onya mama, imani won imani won kani. You are our own. Please, I still don't understand the meaning of this offer. You know, I have the money to 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 give myself anything I want on earth. But this particular offer, I I call what I'm offering. Mama, please. Uh, can you break it down so that I can understand? JJD, I have broken it down to the lowest level. Make yourself an inze by offering this money to the king. If he accepts, indirectly you have become an inze. And nothing can happen to an Oyense that goes down with that woman. But remember, do not allow the king to involve your fall in any of this. Do not allow him to touch you with the offer. I still remember that. <clears throat> the king will soon be with you. Thank you. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Please be seated. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. You didn't offer the gentleman anything. Why? Oh, he said he's uh, not interested in anything, Your Majesty. Is that so? Oh, yes, Your Majesty. I am the one who desires to see the king. Yes, sir. I have come with this. Like they say, no one should appear before the king empty handed. Thank you very much. Huh? <laughs> You're welcome. Indeed, you know your tradition. Yes. Thanks for the gift. Sincerely, I appreciate your generosity. So, what brings you to the palace? <clears throat> Your Majesty, my name is Dede Noru. They call me High Chief Sadede Noru. Your Majesty, 
I came to see you because I have decided to pick a wife from your kingdom. So, I am here to seek the blessing of the king. Thank you. So, who is this woman of whom is Zara that you have chosen to marry? Your Majesty, to be sincere, I have not found any yet. I am still searching. Onyeze. Onyeze, I brought this one for you to pray for me so that my searching will be successful. Ah. Go to my chamber and get me the ancient box that contains the offer of Umwe Zora. For no prayer can happen without the offer. Please be patient. Yes, Your Majesty. Excuse me, excuse me. Like I said, I am still searching. I have not found any yet. Just pray for me with your mouth. Let me go and search for this woman I will spend the rest of my life with. Then you can now pray with your offer. Just pray for me with your mouth now first. The offer is the king, and the king is the offer. He cannot pray for you without the offer. In that case, I'm no longer interested. Huh? Yes, please now, just pray for me with your mouth. You can even lay your hand on my head and pray for me. Let me go and search for this woman. By the time I find her, you can now pray for us with your phone I got a moon now. When is it? By King. Just pray for me. Only prayer is, is, is what I did. Should I kneel down? You see, Agumba, I am certain you know why I sent for you. <laughs> How can I know why you sent for me when I'm not a soothsayer? Eh? Oh, for a John Joe. So if you have anything for me, let me know. Tell me why I'm here. You know, our people have this saying that it is only an illegitimate child who will have the mind to point at his father's compound using the left hand. What are you doing? What is this nonsense you are doing with uh, this Afro? Trying to dethrone a king that the ancestors have given us in Umezora. You want to dethrone him from the position that the ancestors have put him? Why? Even the ancestors themselves are disappointed in this so-called king. A king who would not listen to the men in council. Eh? A small boy who has decided to constitute himself into a Zonyagwala. An all-knowing king. No, <laughs> he's not my king. Did you consult a Dibiafa? And he or she confirmed to you that the ancestors and the gods of Umezor have rejected this king. Or is it something that you men in council fabricated on your own just to massage your caprices? Do we need to consult any Dibiafa over a matter that is so glaring? A matter that is, that is so open and everybody is seeing it. Listen, the gods and ancestors have rejected this king. We're talking about. And our mission is to destroy him, derob him, and send him out of this kingdom. You know, had it been, I've not known you for years, I would be wondering who the hell this man is. But I know you to be an intelligent man. So why will you allow a character like Zafuriko to be influencing you into doing something that is glaringly stupid? That's very unfortunate. With all due respect, I take exception to that. You and I know that no one can influence me. Ah, Ichi Agumba, who can influence me? Listen, what I'm doing is in the best interest of this kingdom and our people. If what you are doing is in the best interest of the kingdom, then I am going to ask you here and now to desist from this scheme of trying to install his Afrobo as the king in this kingdom because that is not going to be possible. The only king we are going to allow in this kingdom is the one given to us by the gods and the ancestors of the whole world. I'm not going to say anything on this again. 
Have a wonderful day. See you back. I have searched my heart and I have searched my conscience. And I cannot see how I have offended anyone. In any way. Why? Why are strange things happening around the palace? Why do I keep receiving strange visitors? With strange requests? Why? But today I pray. By the staff. The offer. Of my ancestors. That the airways of Umwe Zora Kingdom. Be saturated. With the air of peace. I pray that anyone who seeks the destruction of Umezora Kingdom be destroyed. I pray that peace and progress shall continue to rest with the people of whom we are. Of whom don't know what else to do. Why can't this man just pray without the offer? Eh? Try. Feel it. It's, it's revy, revy. I'm stepping out for a bit. You don't look happy. What is it? Your Majesty, I don't think you're handling this situation with the right approach. You are about to be dethroned and you are not worried. Why? Is it because of her? Happen now. I do not want you to bring my queen into what's going on. That's one. And secondly, and most importantly, I want you to know that no one can unseat me. No one can get me off the throne of my fathers. I did not ask to be king. The gods of whom Zara chose me There is nothing a living mortal can do about it. You are saying all this because you don't know what is going on. The youth are agitating. The kingdom is divided. 
Lots of rumors going on that I don't even know which to believe anymore. assure you as my sister that I have this under control. Hmm? Relax. I just hope he's actually in control. My daughter, you don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> I am the owner of Zafrukwe. <laughs> and I control the political atmosphere of this kingdom. I dictate where the political pendulum of this kingdom swings to in my capacity as the owner of Zafrukwe of Omoezora kingdom. <laughs> Very soon, all this will be over. Yes, and you know what? You will have girls of your age, younger ones, even ones that are older than you all worshipping the new princess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Father. I can't wait. But you see the princess. You see the princess. I'm going to spite her. She's so full of herself. I'm going to cut her into size. <laughs> Eka maka my daughter. Father. You know you're a child of destiny. I know. That was why God gave you to me on Eke Market Day. <laughs> you see, spiting the princess is not the issue. The truth is that you will have men. I mean, wealthy men. Princes from far and near kingdoms, they will all line up, crawling to your feet, begging you to marry them. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I cannot wait for that to happen. See, I've not been rehearsing, though, but let me just show you. When that day comes, hey, you will see me. This is how I'll be dancing. Sick it. Dancing. Sick it. Dance Sick it. Sick it. Nice Dance step. Dance. You will go down. I'll call. That's my daughter. Reserve your energy for the real day. Yes, Father. Mm. Thank you so much, Father. Mm. I know that with you by my side, you will make this happen. Sure. I know you will make this dream come true. Sure. Let's celebrate. That's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> no, but <laughs> wait. Honestly, I don't like this. I don't. What don't you like? The fact that you keep coming here uh -huh. without even informing me. Uh, move over. Uh, <laughs> all right. Have I not told you that I will keep coming here? Hey! Since you have refused to give answers to what the issue is, this has become my second home. No, no, whatever happened back in the palace was quite spiritual. And I can boldly tell you that it was something way mightier than me. Honestly, I. I don't even know how to explain what it was. I, I don't understand it myself. I know a Dibia. 
one that was attached to my father when he was king. I am sure that if we approach him nicely and tell him about this problem that you have identified as spiritual, I believe that he can help us. Mm -mm. No. I won't come so to Tibia. If you want to see the Tibia who was attached to your father when he was king, it's fine. But I won't. That's okay. I will go to him, regardless. I will tell him about this problem that you have identified as spiritual. I will tell him that my wife left the palace because of an issue that she feels is spiritual. But then I hope you do not mind me introducing you to him as my wife. Ichi Agumba, you must count yourself lucky for retracing your steps the time you need. Honestly, you would have been a dead man by now. Me. I even went to the palace to ask for forgiveness. But the king refused to give me a listening ear. Well, eh? I came to you because look, I have said that I will no longer be a member of the cabinet. In fact, I don't want, let me be myself, please. Help me. Were you actually thinking you were a member of the cabinet? A betrayer like you? A betrayer has no place in cabinet. You men, we are just politicians. Who are playing politics in the kingdom. Now, have you bothered to ask yourself why Umezora has been progressing better than all the kingdoms around here? It is because we are committed to the cultural values of our ancestors. We do not allow politicians to meddle with some very critical things. Because if you do anyhow in Umezora kingdom, you will never get away with it. We know. Help me. I don't want to die. Yeah? One can ask for carbon tea. Would I leave it and die? Please help me. Well, if you are sure that you have purged yourself of all the traits associated with betrayers, if you are sure that you have turned a new leaf, then you have nothing to worry about. Just go home. Uh, with you. Listen, please, I appreciate this. Yeah? Uh, look, I am born again in the traditional sense. Yeah, not the other way around, okay? I'm born again. I have repented. No, I said that seeing is believing. When I will see, I will know. Oh, baby, you are looking at a repented soul. Let, I have repented. Let the repentance show the fruits of repentance, and I will know. The manifestation has already begun. You can see it. I am repented. Huh? I am a repented soul. Please, thank you very much. Emeka, I am disappointed in you. What are you saying? If not that you are the law, I would have mobilized the youth to destroy this place. We thought you have something tangible against the king. Not knowing that all those things was for your personal interest. Oh no. What made you think that your family will become the king? Or will ever be qualified to rule Umezora kingdom? Emeka. Are you talking to Onu Zafrukwe. Onu, retrace your steps, or this kingdom will not be enough for us. No, 
Zafrukwe. If finally I am not able to plant what I planned to plant, then I will uproot everything. Ebube, your insensitivity and lack of willingness to cooperate on this matter is beginning to suffocate me. If I live here, I will not return. I will go back to the palace and do all that the elders in council have asked me to do. I am going to move on with my life. Build an empire without you. Nana, you are threatening me. Why? There's a tangible reason as to why you left her home. And the palace where you oversee to the affairs of your people who depend on you. Let me know. But clearly you have no tangible reason. And I'll be quick to remind you that a king is not meant to be alone without a queen. You're hurting me with your words. Did you know none of this is intentional? I... actions of it. How long am I going to continue to live without you? What else do you want me to do to show you that I love you with everything inside of me? I can move things around for you. You know. Tell me what this problem is and I... My darling wife, yes. tell me the problem is, and I vow to you on my honor as the king of Uwen Zora, that I will help you solve it. What the problem is that, is, that is my whole confusion. I don't even know what to say to you. I try to explain this to you each time, but it just feels like there is a force preventing me from talking. Listen, whatever decision you decide to take is fine by me. I don't know what else to do. Sorry. It's no longer picking my calls. What is going on? Does it mean that finally we know Zafrukwe is alone? this fight Babe, 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 babe I am 100% sure that the person I saw driving out of this estate is the king of Omoeso and you're the only one he comes to see in this neighborhood. So, so just me. If he came here to see me, so moreover, how is that even supposed to be a topic? Ugh. My dear, is that supposed to be any problem? I do not have any problem with that. Actually, I have a problem with you. Yes. What is wrong with you? Eh? What is wrong with you? No, tell me. You are the only person that I have ever seen spitting out honey from her mouth. Amanda, I would appreciate it if we don't talk about this. Drop it, please. I should drop it? Yes. Mm -hmm. You want me to drop it? 
my dear, don't deny it. You love the king and you know it. Yes, your marriage to him made you the envy of everyone, including me. And now you just left him. I did not just leave him. There were... Amanda, there was a reason to it, but it's something I can't even explain. Hey. You won't understand it. That is what you keep saying. You will not understand. You will not understand. Make me understand. Why did you leave the palace? I might be the envy of everyone's eyes, but I have never had peace in that palace. Not for once. I don't believe you, Biko. Which one is you've never had peace in that palace? Not for once. Why? I am battling with a spiritual being. Excuse me. Hello. Who are you and how how did you get in here? Feeling any better? Mm. Sorry. Thank you. You'll be fine. Why? Right. I think you put too much on yourself. The doctor said you passed out because you you don't rest. Mm. I will be fine. And I'm sorry I caused you panic. It's all right, my love. I love you still. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. You remain my love forever. <laughs> Second day, you were already. It was gone. You were, you were spent. Fast spent. <laughs> so, which one are we taking? This or the other one? Which do you want? Um, this is no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait. This is um, seventy point twenty-eight. So, who's cashing out this money, me or you? No, oh, geez, must, does it have to be you? No, it's ha <laughs> my own bread. You know, I have been meaning to ask. When are you going to take another wife? Or do you want to take us by surprise? Do you think that this is the best time to discuss this? You know, I was told that during the olden days, when men were still men, that a great king was determined by how many wives he had and how many communities he had captive. Then I wish to ask, by keeping just one wife, does it mean that my brother does not want to be a great king? In the olden days, the world was in the mood of worship and practice up, up on now. Things have changed. We have all evolved as a people. I am already a great king. I do not need to take multiple wives to be a great king. I have done a lot for my people. With the kind of development that I have brought to Umwezo, I assure you, I 
It's time for me to join my ancestors. My name will be boldly written in the annals of history. Interesting. Your Majesty, please excuse me. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. I just need to take some rest. That's okay. I'll be with you. Hmm? Did you have to bring that up in front of her? Why? Because I'm scared of her. What? Is that why her curtain has changed? Okay, let me ask you. What about if you had said yes? I want to take another wife tomorrow. What would she do? Would she commit suicide? Be quiet. Ah. <laughs> fine, fine. I forgot that my brother is allergic to truth. But I will always tell you. My queen, you are really enjoying. Hmm? The environment of this palace is very peaceful, serene, and is soothing to my soul. That is what it looks like, darling. But I am not happy. Maybe I need a child of my own. I need to produce an heir for the king. Why are you sounding this way? I mean, both of you are very young. Yes, you're young and I'm sure you would have a child of your own very soon. That is what we all hope for, but soon the king will start talking. He needs an heir. We know he is the king. And you know that the king loves you way too much. So please stop piling pressure on yourself. The king loving you should be your consolation. And I'm sure he would not allow anyone pal pressure on you. Come on. You won't understand, but you know what? Let me not bore you with that. How are you doing? I'm fine. You I'm sure you are fine. <laughs> you can bum with your problems. I mean, what friends? What are friends for? Mm, but I suggest we don't talk about that anymore. Okay? okay. So. so tell me, what do you want to eat? Anything, just name it. The cook will make it. Um, what about I go make it myself? Ah. You know, feel the environment, see more places. Well, you mm. are in the palace. You are to be served and not to serve anyone. Does okay? It matter? <laughs> You again? What is it? What, what do you want with me? You have refused to carry out my wish. You will keep suffering for disobeying me. I don't know what you were talking about. What wish? This lineage must end. For they ended the covenant they had with me. Do not stay here, hoping to reproduce a son that will carry on this lineage. Else, you will pay with your dear life. Up or now? Your Majesty. The palace accountant reached out to me to say that you're asking for more money. Don't you think that you're spending too much? Hmm? 
You're spending too much. I think that you should get a job. Every month, we ensure that you get a fat check. Did you not get your monthly allowance? Your Majesty, I did. But it was too small for me, for my budget this month. How? Oh. I understand. That is why you need to get a job. And speaking of a job, I have always wondered why you turned down that job that came from the company. Come on. Your Majesty, you know your sister. I don't like stress. I always want to be pampered like the princess that I am. Oh. And live my life to fullest. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's who I am. Say it again. Keep saying it. You're wrong. You have to be resourceful, not mad cable. Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? You want to live a soft life, yet you don't want to be resourceful. Is this why you have rejected every man that have come here to ask your hand in marriage? Claiming that all your suitors are not up to your standard. You would have to make a choice at some point, up an hour. It's either you get married or you get a job. Hmm? Oh, Jesus. That was too harsh. No. That was the truth. The truth is what you need. <laughs> oh, Gene, what is it? What is it? What is it? Huh? What? Huh? What? I am. Um... I will not let you do that this time. There is something wrong with your queen. Yes. And you better do something about it before it becomes a big problem to all of us. Up now, you must learn to stop reading the news to everything. There is nothing wrong with her. She was probably having a nap. Had a funny dream and jacked off and ran to us. Look at you. You're trying to make excuses for her and it's not even coming true. My brother, if you have not noticed, I have. Your wife is behaving strangely. And I think something is wrong with her. Either she belongs to Marine Kingdom or something has possessed her. Find out. Up on our one. Up on our one, you can forget everything, but you're not going to forget that Ibube is my wife. The queen of Umwe Zora kingdom. No one is allowed to speak about her in that manner. Like I said, I know you are going to dismiss me as usual. But I am telling you the truth as your sister because no other person can do that. And it is because you are my sister that I will not ask the guards to tie you up. I'm talking about my wife like that. This will be the last time I'm now. Don't do it again. My dear brother, do something about your wife before she will embarrass you before your cabinet. Excuse me. You don't understand the way that I feel I'm fighting a battle, invisible one I cannot explain, I cannot express myself I'm drowning in fear Fear of unknown. 
Hobim. I feel that there is something wrong with you. And I'd like for you to open up and talk to me about it. I am... Um, I'm sorry about what's happened out there. It's just... It's just that... This... There's... This... There's this... Large dream. Or just a figment of your imagination. Because you're stressed. These things happen. Hmm? I am of the opinion that you are stressed. And I think that you need some time off. Hmm? Some time away from your royal duties here. In the palace. I have told you to come with me. Uh, my friend is Odinaka would be happy to host us again. Look on the brighter side, my love. We'll spend time with him. We'll enjoy the festival. Hmm? Spend a few days on the short getaway. You clear your head before you come back here again. I think that would work for you. I would really love to. But not this time. Ah, I was there with you last year. I would rather stay back now, okay? Please. You won't blame me now for wanting to ensure that you're fine before I leave. I'm fine. Sincerely, I'm fine. Are you sure? Very sure. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bube. You say you'll be fine, but then you still look worried to me. Gwabia. You know that I am going to be with you every step of the way. Huh? I'll be gone for a few days. If at any point you need anything, or something happens here, Call me. You know, go. Why do you look so beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> But to the best of my mind, you did have a lot of fun last year. <laughs> and I was just thinking that you come with me again because I know that my friend is on the knack. I'll be very happy to see that you come with me once again to celebrate you. Huh? I know, but um, I'll pass. You'll pass? Yes. It's okay. <laughs> you know that I'll miss you, right? And I'll miss you too. <laughs> You just take good care of yourself. I'll try. Leave me a call. You can do a lot. Now I know you are determined to frustrate me. What wrong have I done to you? You are too basic to ask a woman what she wants from you. I've already asked you to leave this place. Do you want me to kill you before you do? Truth is, I know that you are a spirit being, for I have seen you disappear before. You have been coming here with messages, but you haven't been lenient enough to explain for perfect understanding. Why are you asking me to leave my husband? Why are you threatening to kill me if I fail? Have you wondered why you are not able to conceive or be a child for the king? Wait. 
You are responsible. I advise you live in peace. Or you will live in pieces. What is it? Why are you blocking my way? Who were you talking to? And why did you run out in that manner? Listen, I know you have not liked me since I got married into this family. I don't know why. But this minute, I need you to just let me go. I will not let you divert from this topic. Just like you always do. Now, talk to me. I have this feeling that you belong to some married kingdom. Woman to woman. Can you tell me about it? I don't know what you are talking about. Of course you know what I'm talking about. This minute, you are acting like the queen. Acting cool. The next minute, you're acting strange. Just like daughter of Jezebel. Free my brother. I saw you in there. Talking to someone. How will you explain that? I will advise you do not say what you are not sure of. You don't know what is happening. I repeat, let me go. I would not let you go. I want you to free my brother. Free my brother. Go back to wherever you belong. Allow him to get married to a woman who can be pregnant for him and give him an heir. I do not have time for your trouble. You pushed me? You have the God to push me. Come back here. Come back here. This is actually the very first time you will be visiting me in my house. And the cost of this land will not allow me to stand you outside. That's why I brought you here. Can you please sit down and explain to me what troubles you? Thank you. What? <coughs> are, are you okay? No, drink some water. What's the problem? Why are you coughing? Wait. I'm, not, I'm not feeling too well. I'll come, I'll come back some other, some other time. <coughs> What's going on with her? Why will she suddenly start to cough like this? This queen came here because something was troubling her that she needed to speak to me about. How come? Suddenly when I've given her audience, she was no longer able to say anything. What's going on? It's impossible for me to conceive. 
and she's not even hiding it. But why? Why can't I even utter a word? It would be foolish of me to stay back to wage a war against the spirit who appears and disappears. People judge me but they don't know about my story And fighting my husband, I swear But our love is strong, stronger than the people We will stand together as one I want this to end I wanna come back home I'm praying to the gods it would be from what you just said. It is obvious that the king is not even safe. Hey. I wonder this particular spirit is not after the king. The spirit is after me and my stay at the palace. Look at me. I am tired of being here as well. I want to go back to my husband, but I, I had to run for my dear life. Honestly, at this point, the king needs to know. Yes, because he is lost. You know, this disagreement between both of you has divided the kingdom, coupled with his refusal to marry four women representing the four market days. My darling, the king needs to know. And you think I don't want to talk to him? You think I don't want to tell him? I want to, but there is this force that just keeps stopping me. Whenever I try to tell him, it's, it's either I start stuttering or I don't even find the words to say to him. I want to. You know what? The jinx has been broken, now that you have spoken to me. We'll find a way around it. Okay, my dear friend. Cheer up. Come on, cheer up. People judge me, but they don't know about my story. And fighting my husband, that's so well. Stop right. Oh, <laughs> greetings, my princess. Keep your greetings to yourself. I know you are one of those girls after my brother, the king. Why are you here this early? My princess, why will you think so lowly of me? Why? Speak to me in a manner of decency. I might help you. I might help you win the king. In which of the market days were you born? With all due respect, Princess Apunaum, I am not one of those ladies who throw themselves at your brother. I am here on a very different note. Can I see the king, please? Amanda, or whatever they call you. I will not let you see the king because I already know your mission. You will not see my brother, especially when you are lying about it. Listen, princess, please do not attempt to stop me, okay? And why, if I may ask, must you see the king? Listen, my message is for the king. I need to see him, please. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. You are not going to see the king. Okay. Fine. My message is from Queen Ebrubu. If I cannot see the king today, I will definitely see him some other time. Wait, wait. Did you say Queen Ebube? Yes, Queen Ebube. Please come with me. Oh, thank you. Stop there! Is something wrong with you? 
Are you stupid? Giving a royal passage to someone I've already sent out of the palace. An intruder? I am sorry, my princess. But this visitor has to see the king. I am the authority. And I have the power to decide on who sees or do not see the king. And do not drag this. For it has been registered in my spirit that your late father is connected with this. My princess. Please come. Thank you. What? A balance! So what in my elder in my own father's house? I know what to do. And it will happen soon. Sooner. I will get this guy arrested. And he will rot in jail. Beautiful one. Um, you mean you actually went to report to the Inspector General of Police because I threatened to arrest you? Yes, my love. Look, there is nothing on earth I have not done to forget about you. My dear, it's not working out. My soul is already with you. Please tell that soul or whatever it is to close that gate because it is not going to work for I belong to another. How many times am I supposed to say this? One and one. Both of you are already separated. Yeah, right. Let me be the man you will spend the rest of your life with. And I promise you, you will not lack anything. You know you, you are a true definition of what they call money misrude. Yes, of course. The only thing you have is money. But you see, you do not have what it takes to be the man in the life of a woman like me. Lovesy, ah. I have it. And I want to appreciate you for one thing. Uh, you see that word you use, uh, the only thing I have is money. I really like that. In fact, I feel like signing a check for you for saying that. Look, I, I, there is nothing I cannot do for you. I can take you for a shopping at Hungary. Yeah. If you want to buy, we'll go there. Is it Dallas? If you want to go to Singapore, I can take you on a tour there. Yeah? If you're not comfortable with that, since you said you, you need a man that can do anything for you, look, I know how to prepare a camel. I can boil in them. Is it? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Just. Wait. Okay. You know, I think I have a solution to this problem. Thank you. I am. Um, I have this very beautiful friend. She she is she is she's fantastic. Her name is Amanda. You will love her. I would want to introduce her to you, you know, so at least you can let me be. She likes Indomie. She likes Akamo. So, you know, you two will make a perfect couple. Never. No, what, what will I be doing with so-called Amanda or whatever when I can have you? My dear, look, I love you so much. I can I, I cannot leave you. Let me tell you. See, uh, since you said you don't like Akamu and the boil Indomie. Look, I will go and learn how to prepare Abacha and the Oppa. Hi! Yes, I can, I can even add it up with maybe uh, uh, all this. Uh, 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 it's, it's okay, it's okay. You know what? I'm, I'm a little bit, um, I, I hate being, I, I'm claustrophobic. I understand that you're a friend of um, the Queen. Yes, Your Honor. My wife. The last time someone who posed as her friend showed up here, it was a very ugly experience. I hope, I hope that will not be the case today. On the contrary, Your Majesty, I am here on a very important note. I got into a serious discussion with your wife, and she was able to open up to me. 
the reason she left the palace. It will be opened up to you on why she walked out of our marriage. Yes, Your Majesty. She told you why. Same reason she could not tell. Your Majesty, you just have to listen to the story. Then you will understand the reason. Okay. All right. Let's hear it. Who do we have here? Oh, the toothless bulldog that wants to go on the battle with the lion. Wait, is that you? Oh. Are you by any means referring to me? Are you not the only one here? Why are you with another person that I don't know? Huh? You should thank your stars that you retrace your step. Yes. The God would have used you for a barbecue in the village point. And I would have partaked. Because you know I, I went and died with the God. I don't blame you, Agaba. I do not blame you at all. In fact, you are looking for someone who will kill you. But I... Ichi Agumba, I will not be a victim of your unruly scheme. Oh, I will not kill you. Don't no you. one can kill Agumba. Did you die? You didn't know. You should go back here. Look, you should. If you are thinking about it, something can happen to you. I always see you. I tell you my life. Anytime, any day. Even with your red snake cow. Look at this little Zacchaeus. That is trying to. Challenge the gods. What's the problem? Oh, you see, I don't remind you. The gods have plans. So that we'll feast on your. Oh. This is our daughter. She doesn't get good. That's the problem. She's not going to do it. What did they marry her for? I don't like it. Look at Zacchaeus. Saying you're sorry for me. Sorry for your family. Okay. Fine. My message is from the Queen Ebubi. If I cannot see the king today, I will definitely see him some other time.
Honestly, I am surprised hearing this. I am shocked. I'm equally surprised because I have no connection whatsoever with this evil spirit. And I don't know why this spirit is bent on frustrating me and, and putting an end to my lineage. You know, have you settled down to properly think? You know, I mean, search your heart to know if there is any business dealing whatsoever you had with this spirit being. Oh, I have never had a reason to evoke any spirit. I called you here because I feel that you have the capacity to help me. Of course, no matter how tense the fire is, it is the water that will quench it. Initially, I was thinking if you took all the Dibia that was attached to my late father, but then my heart told me to reach out to you first. And I am here. The problem is identified, and trust me, we are going to solve this problem. I said for you because I know you are the only person who can help me unmask this problem. And I am so glad you came with this level of urgency to assist me. Trust me, you are going to live with the ram today. Oh, Ugwefi, do not send for the ram yet. For what I see in the palace has a connection to a charm. I don't understand. What charm do you speak of? It come. We are in the face of a beautiful woman. But this spirit is not actually a woman. What you do, I need you to dissect what you are saying. That spirit is the problem we have in the palace. Whether it is a sham, or whether it is a beautiful woman, or whatever thing you are seeing, I need you to make me understand it. Because it is only when I understand it perfectly that I will be able to decide on how I can handle it. I will be back in three days' time with you. Whatever it is, I will pin it down. My darling, why are you worried? I mean, I did the right thing. The most important part of this whole thing is that you collaborated my story with a clearer picture. Trust men, they will definitely solve this problem. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just surprised. Everything, I mean, everything I couldn't say just came pouring out so easily because you started the process. And Chuku uh, Goseki, you are a good person. Thank you so much. My darling, you have to stop thanking me. I mean, what are friends for? Huh? I am very, very happy that your husband involved a way few Juana Sanya in this. With that man, this problem will be solved. You will see. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. But you know, I'm still thinking. Why did the spirit decide to punish me? Thank you. 
Who are you, please? Who are you? I can't see you, but I can feel the aura of your evil presence. Show yourself. If you have come to say anything to me, show yourself so that we can have an agreement. But if you have come to kill me, I'm telling you here and now that you cannot kill Obu if you want Asanya, who is the custodian of Ophonesio, the masquerade of Umezora Kingdom. Stop interfering in my business because they will pay for Pandora. I will not warn you again. Why do I have this feeling that you just spoke? Why does it appear as if you are trying to say something to me? My ears are too sanctified for whatever nonsense you are saying. But I want to warn you. But if by chance you are the one tormenting the queen, I want you to free her already. Because if you try it again, I am going to raise the wand of an unwebber against you. And you are not ever going to survive it. I hate this man. And I will crush him with the slightest opening that comes my way. I was hoping that you would come with good news from Onyozi. Onyozi is going to speak in clear terms in the next few days. The only thing I want to tell you is that there is hope. Obwefi, how can you say to me that there is hope when the spirit that is tormenting my wife is yet to be tracked down? What if that spirit moves fast and kills Ebube before you and I are able to do anything about it? Let me even shock you. This very spirit you speak of, the one that is tormenting your wife, was actually in my compound a few minutes ago. Oh, Are you telling me that you, you saw the spirit and interacted with her? I didn't see her. But the totality of her evil presence was defined. I issued a very stern warning. And then I raised the one of Anuweba against her. If she enters my compound ever again, I am going to cage her into the fan of her phone show but a masquerade. And she's going to become one of the apostles of that ancient masquerade. I just want that spirit to set my wife free so that she can come back home. Oh yes, there is something the gods are teaching you. And I want you to Follow them slowly and learn it. Your wife remains your wife and there is nothing anybody can do about it. Father, I do not understand. Is this how you are going to fold your arms and allow people to look at us as losers? You did not succeed on the throne. Neither did I fulfill my dream of becoming the princess. Ekamaka, never. We cannot lose. 
All I need to do now is find my way back to the palace. I am on no out for a while. I want you to be rest assured that your father remains the owner of Uma Zora Kingdom. Nobody, I repeat, nobody can take that position away from me. Hmm? You see this husband and daughter of mine, I wonder how you both reason. Hmm. And you, Amaka, instead of you to go back to Enugu and concentrate on your job and look for a credible suitor to come and marry you, you are here listening to local politics and making a fool out of yourself. Shut up, woman. What do you mean by village politics? Hmm? Don't you know that you've just interrupted my conversation with my dear daughter? I did not interrupt any conversation. In fact, both of you are not having any conversation. What you're doing is that you're planning coup against a man that has been chosen by the gods. <laughs> I wonder how you think you can succeed. Mother, this is the same thing you have done to me all my life. You have never supported me, never. Supported you for what? I will never support you. In fact, I will never because I cannot support evil. Now listen to me. I know no who cannot suddenly become a king. Yes. So allow the man to enjoy his reign. Let the king breathe. Sit us with this right now. What? You mean we've been living with an evil spirit in this house? For so many years. A spirit that is determined to terminate our lineage. And to tell you how brutal the spirit is, it would interest you to know that that spirit made a way for one Aswaya a visit as his residence today. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not good. Okay. It's not good at all. Uh, at this point, I think I need a bodyguard. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not funny. This is not funny. <laughs> You're not finding this funny, eh? Not at all. <laughs> ah. Who would have thought that my very vivacious sister, the no-nonsense princess Apunawa of Umwezora Kingdom, would be this scared? Look at she. You're petrified. Huh? <laughs> you see, I never knew this was what the queen was going through. Mm. Yes. Now you know. You see, in life, we must learn not to be quick to judge. When you see an individual exhibiting strange characters, something that you don't understand, try to find out why that person is the way they are before you jump into conclusions. You didn't treat her well while she was here, and you know. Yes. You're very right. I judged everywhere in her. And she deserves my apology. I'll be happy if you make our time to go see her. To come forward you her address where she's currently staying. Huh? Okay. And as for Obalanze following you around, I don't think that it's that serious. And let me also add that he's my personal guard. And so he cannot follow you around. But you are at liberty to hire a maid, a couple of maidings. Got you. Uh. I said, you know, I know why I I fired those lousy weddings. The gossip was becoming unbearable. 
Yes. And I cannot take back my vomit. And it's fine. Relax. Nothing will happen to you. As you now know, that spirit has been here with us for years and did nothing to you. Apart from sending my wife out of the palace, nothing has happened. So nothing will happen to you now. Relax. Hmm? If you say so. I don't know who you are, but there is something about your presence that has not gone down well in my spirit. And I'm asking you, who are you? The same one you were not able to see before. I see. And now I can see you. What are you doing here? I mean, why are you coming here? What business do I have with you? I will not have you take me out of my comfort zone. You want to save them now? Where were you when I was being starved for years? Where were you? You know, as you finally decided to show your face, maybe you have to go a step further to explain and answer my question. Who exactly are you? I am Elimili, the fearless goddess. Do not cross my path, or I will crush you. Be warned. Be warned! Fearless goddess. Are you really a goddess? If you were a goddess, why will you have problem with the wave you wanna sign a man of the gods? Who are you? She made it clear to me that if I as much say anything to anyone, Me. She, she tormented me so much that I had to run for my dear life. You should have spoken up, still. I tried. Yeah. You should have tried harder. Because I promise you would have found the solution to the problem. There wouldn't have been any solution. That, that spirit is evil. She's brutal. I know how many times I tried to speak, but it, it never worked. I even had to run to away for Juan Maswanya. I, I, I couldn't say anything to him. There is just... There's just something with that spirit that each time I try to say something, it's, it holds back my tongue. I... That's okay. At least now we know what the problem is. And I promise you we are going to find the lasting solution to it. I'm scared. You don't have to be. I'm here. Oh, boy, Fee. is not a goddess. I thought as 
much. Because if we had or have any such goddess in Uma Ezora kingdom, I should know. But I never heard of that. There was a charm prepared by the former king for fame and fortune. But that charm was abandoned. Elelemili, a loose spirit, allowed herself to be used by the enemies of the palace. They tried to hijack the charm, but the charm resisted, and she decided on her own to wipe the entire lineage. Hmm. Now I understand it. Why she kept tormenting the queen. And why she said she was abandoned. Very strange. But Onuzi, how come this evil spirit or loose spirit, how come she has not attacked the king. That king has not gone away from the ancestors. The past that controlled the staff of Umu is still in his hands. You know what to do to solve the problem. Eh, Onuzi, I sent for you because I knew you are the authority who can explain this and the solution thereof? I am prepared to pay. Tell me, how do we solve this problem permanently? You know what to do. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Agumba. Ibo. Imano ku konyuar ana atubi oso. Will you lie that you did not see me? Eh? Yeah? Look at you. Ina atu enu ni maro kesa hazi oku. Look at you. Okay. Now I dream I saw you. What happens? No, no, no. Do I have any business with you? Do I have any business with you? Uh, Agumba, why are you still upset? I am the one that's supposed to be upset because you chickened out of our plan, leaving me alone in pursuit of my quest. Okay, in pursuit of your quest. What quest? No, what quest? Tell me. What quest? Eh? Listen, I was under the impression that you were fighting for the general good, for the general interest of the people of Umezora Kingdom. Little did I know that you were just just pursue your own selfish interests. Honestly, I regret following you. I regret following Agumba. you. Agumba. 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 Eh? When have you suddenly started talking this way? Oh no. Let me tell you something. There comes a time when a man has to use his tongue to count his teeth. And for you, this is the right time. Better do that before it is too late for you. Imagine the people that are scared of me talking to me anyhow now. Agumba, I will so deal with you when I might have succeeded in ascending the throne. You will see. Back here. It must be you. Because I know every time you're working, you do your work. Yes. See, the only saving grace. Hey, 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 hold on, hold it there. Hold it there. Hmm. I know you talk to people anyhow. When I warn you, 
Never you cross my path. Otherwise, <laughs> okay. I can continue. The only seven girls you have is because you called yourself to a close one meet earlier now. I decided to stop. If not, your name would have been changed from Zacchaeus Blackboarder to Sorry. Is it? Did they change your red cap or is it? Okay. You can add up on my ship. Let me go back to what I was doing. Before your pop, rudely interrupted me. You can match on. I'll be commander officer. Why do I have this feeling that this Nikon poop is not an ordinary song? Agaba, to the best of my knowledge, this will be the very first time you are visiting me at night. What's the problem? Hmm, it's you. Actually, I want to go straight into your house. This is actually my house. Hmm. Well, you right this said it. It is important. That is why I've come. It's you. You are the only man I respect to that whole cabin. Because you are a good man. You are a custodian of our account. Hmm? It's you. Tell the king that you have solved the problem. He solved. It depends on the very problem you are talking about. Because there are so many problems in that palace. I don't know if you are aware. Even a spirit is involved. You already know this. The problems are connected. They are all connected. See, the king would have shot himself on the food. If he had married any of the traps. And they searched for him. But thanks to people who can be out. He succeeded, so the problems are solved. Agaba, let it out. Hmm? Agaba, I know you. You know, you are just you're just conducting a kind of rigmarole, going round, round and round. This is not why you came here this night. Can you can you let it out? Why are you here? Uh, you are the eyes of the gods, actually. Maybe the gods are revealed it to you. Well, let me tell you. Please. You see, Agumba has called himself to a close dormant. I think by the power of the God. And he's now visiting like a proper friend. So, I am pleading with you. If he asks for forgiveness, who's forgiving him? Hmm? That's wrong. You are the father. Huh? The God is right. Yes. Is it? Something is missing here. There is no drink of this thing. I don't like you. I purposely didn't want to bring out alcohol. Mm. You are drunk over there. You shouldn't be drinking like this. It's okay. Today, it gives me blood. Why is it I should not drink? Whoever the cup of it, let him win. From today henceforward, I want you to be my bodyguard. Stay with me 247. <clears throat> okay? My princess, I, I don't understand you. I am the king's personal assistant. And there are so many things I do for the king on a daily basis. Moreover, I have not even once functioned as a bodyguard. So I don't know how possible this year request will be. Balaise. I will tell my brother about it. And I know that there's no way he will have any problem in you being my bodyguard. My princess, this is unlike you. Is there a problem I should know of? 
I will tell you. I'm scared. Yes, I'm quite scared. Knowing that there is an evil spirit moving around this palace. I'm so scared. Can you at least listen to me? Oh, Balanti, you have nothing to say to me. On the contrary, I have something to say. And I am going to say it. This spirit you talk of should not be of any concern to you. Oh, Balanti, why are you arguing with me? This same spirit is just able to be out of this palace. And the queen will soon return to the palace. Yes. My princess, one thing you should not forget is that you are the princess of Umezora kingdom. And this is your father's compound. No spirit can harm you here. No one. I am trying so hard to understand what you are doing here. My compound is not one of those compounds where people just enter to foment trouble. You know it is. Ogwana Sire. I am not here to banter words with you. I am Drono Unza Fogwe of Umwe Zora Kingdom. Therefore, I have every right to go anywhere hey, I want hey, to hey, go hey. at any time. Hey. One, one very short sentence. What are you doing here? I heard there is this spirit tormenting the palace. And that same spirit has succeeded in pursuing the queen out of the palace. And you and the king have decided to use the sacred wand of our furniture for the masquerade in terming that spirit. True or false? And how in this world is that supposed to be your business? It is my business. How? It is my business because I remain the Ono Nzafrukwe of Umwezora Kingdom. How can anyone decide to use our sacred masquerade without mentioning it to me? I don't, you know, know. I don't Wait, I don't I want to understand something. Is it that you have started to smoke any of these banned substances that is making you now to speak like a fool? No, why are you trying to make yourself relevant? I don't understand. I am the custodian of a furniture with a masquerade, and I am the one who ministers on the wand of an Onuebe. Why will you bundle yourself into my compound to come and speak about yourself? Oh, who the hell do you think you are? Now I see. Now I know that, Okwa Nasaya, you are one of those that has been undermining my position in this kingdom as the owner. If not, how can you of all people decide to use such a secret instrument without mentioning it to me? Listen, eh? If I were you, I will hide my face in shame. Why should I hide myself in shame? Am I no longer the owner of this kingdom? I pity you, Zafu. Where? Oh, don't you dare. Oh, don't you dare address me as Nzafu without adding that title. Oh no. Is it you or no? Are you talking to me? Look at this fool. No, you are parading yourself as the you know who in the same kingdom where you led a force that almost, almost tore the kingdom into pieces. Had it been you succeeded in what you planned to destroy this kingdom, Will you be here claiming right? You stoop so low to destroy a kingdom that practically gave you everything. And you are here forming a strong man. Hey, get out of this place, idiot. Hey, don't you dare. Oh, what I Don't you dare walk out on me because I'm not done talking. You, you are not done talking because you are talking nonsense, but I'm already done with this topic. Now you listen to me, you fool. I am the one who is the custodian of our foundation for the masquerade. And I am still the person who ministers on the wand of Anunwebe. I am going to use these two ancient instruments to tame and destroy this useless sham that is now parading itself as a goddess. If you feel that you have what it takes to stop me, file out and we shall see I put it to you, Ogwana Zwaya, that I am going to perforate you. 
read my lips. I, Ono Nzafrugwe, I am going to perforate you. You go about parading yourself as Owefo Kwanasanya, the all-knowing one. I will show you that I am that Oku Asendemale Kwarancha. Be warned. Be warned. This fool wanting me in my own house. This is where you stood to say the nonsense. Shall see. Nine. I read something on the platform of Umwezora General Assembly today. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from the house of Wifio Kwanazaya. And as you see me, I am seriously upset. Because that man, that non-entity, that fool that is so full of himself, insulted me. Oh no. Is that for where? In the level I cannot take. <laughs> As if there is anything you can do to the man. <laughs> that serves you right. What did you just say? Now you heard me right. In Zafulukwe, you heard me right. That man is a well respected man in this community. And I trust his judgment. Now, for months now, you have not been active concerning your job as the noble of the kingdom. Rather, you have been trying to overthrow the king to become king. Why should you go to his house to go and confront him concerning the kingdom, matters that concerns the kingdom? Shut up, woman. I said, shut your trap. Why do you like to say things that can bring the beast out of a man? <laughs> As if today is the day that the beast started coming out. Nay, I've lived with you for 33 years. I know you inside out. Retrace your step. Nay. Retrace your step from your evil ways and stop going to harass and fight a man that is a respected man in this kingdom. Ochora. Ochora. I want you to listen to this warning. Mark it. To be the last any day. Ochora, any day you get involved in my kind of politics in this kingdom, Ochora, I will kill you. <laughs> you won't. You know, it is not today that you started trying to kill me and failing. You have failed several times. Listen to me. My father knew he was marrying me off to a man that doesn't have conscience. So he fortified me well. Nzafulukwe, retrace your step, else you'll be a victim of your own weapon. The crown, no. Do not fight a man ordained by God. Yeah, cause you will never, never win. Why the envy? Why are you the jealous? Do you say this is where she lives? Go use the horn so that she can open the gate. Even when she's no longer in the palace, she is still a queen. It, 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 it's not right to, 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 to take the queen on her ways. What do you mean by that? My princess, you should have called her to let her know you're coming. I mean, why should we budge on a queen in this manner? She may get angry and let it cost. Let it cost on who? I'm the one who is born into royalty here. 
Someone who is merely married into reality cannot lay a curse on me and it works. My queen. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew my eyes were not deceiving me when I saw you from the camera. Why are you parked outside? Come in. You know, I was just uh, trying to figure something out with your balance here. Oh, come on up for now. You know, this is like your own house. You know what? Tell him to drive in the car, open the gates oh, for no, you. No, no, no. You know what? Drive back to the, to the palace. Hmm? When I call you to come and pick me, you come back to my business. Thank you. My queen. <sighs> it's all right. Please do come in. You're welcome. I keep seeing the color flashing in my camera and I knew, oh, you don't have it. You have it. Father. Yes. I have become the laughing stock of the town. My friends make mockery of me, and I feel like you betrayed me. Betrayed you? How? Become, become my daughter. Do you ever understand the dynamics of power? Those who want to acquire political power must be prepared. Exactly, Father. They must be prepared before they do anything. But it seems you did not prepare for this. You led me on without initial preparation and I'm heartbroken. I wonder if you're the one talking. If this is what you have become, then I must tell you I am very, very disappointed. Those who must succeed must learn the art of never quitting. They must learn how to push on. They must make new attempts. Father. Father, have you been reading the articles on the platform? It seems like we've come to the end of the road. The end of any road is the beginning of another road. I want to be left alone now. My lovely princess, my queen. <laughs> Honestly, I would love for you to come live here with me permanently. <laughs> <laughs> you are not serious. Why would I be serious? Of course I am. Wait. Are you not planning to return back to the palace soon? Honestly, I haven't even thought about that. Princess, the spirit who has been tormenting me has not been tamed yet. How do I come back to the palace? That reminds me. My brother told me you have not been feeling well. Oh, but why have you refused to go see our family doctor? <laughs> no way. Come on. You want me to go to the hospital? All eyes will be on me. If I go there, the headlines will be the runway queen finally crawls back to the royal family doctor. And I don't want that. And what in this world is wrong with that? Trust me, there is nothing absolutely wrong with it, but... I do not want that drama. Uh-uh. I don't. Ah. Mm? There is no drama here. Really? Yes. As for your reason for leaving the palace, it's revealed. Mm. So, you have to come back and take back your position. It's your palace. Mm? 
Well, um, Apple now. I think we should um, drop this conversation. Let's talk about something more fun. Yeah. So tell me, you are looking absolutely radiant. <laughs> What's been happening? Is that something I do not know? Has I, anyone come to knock on the door? I am always like that. I know, but she now you are glittering more than ever. So there has to be a reason. <laughs> tell me, what is it? <laughs> Did not yield any fruit. Why are you still here, Amaka? Are you not supposed to go back to your job? Why would you say it is not yielding results when we are still on it? <laughs> you are still on it. Do you know that while you and your stupid colleagues were busy throwing yourselves at the king, he was busy going to his wife? Mother. Why do you keep saying things you know nothing about? Just mm -hmm. to make me feel bad? That evil woman ran out of the palace because the forces keeping the palace made her uncomfortable. That position is mine to feel soon. Mm -hmm. Amaka, so you're still dreaming. You are still dreaming. All the ladies that started this nonsense with you saw the handwriting on the wall and abandoned the process. It is only you that is still there. Believing that you will still get there. Do you even have sense? Don't you have sense? Mother, you have never believed in me. And you have never seen the light in my effort. Please, can you allow me finish what I started? Relax, Mama. Relax. There is light at the end of the tunnel. At the end of the day, it will be beautiful for you and I. Amaka, shut up. Shut up! There is no light at the end of the tunnel as far as you are concerned. Amaka, the light is, has, is, in fact, it has been off since. There is no light! Stop this, Amaka! Stop! Mama, you want to put off my light. You want to put off the my light? The light has been off since. You want to put off my light? My darling, if she said you should come back to the palace, I think you should do it. <laughs> I should go back to the palace. Mm-hmm. The same palace she is scared of walking around on her own. As of today, she has hijacked my husband's personal assistant as her own bodyguard, simply because she cannot move alone in the palace. So how am I supposed to go back there? I think she is scared. But you know what? You don't have to compare yourself with her. Mm -mm. She's only a daughter who will be married off someday. But you, you are a wife. And that is where you belong until death. think they can use me and dock me. They are fooling themselves, thinking they can use me and dump me. Nobody, nobody can stop me. Please just come down, come down, come down, come down, come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. 
It's all right. It's okay. It's just take it easy, my princess. Calm down. Okay. She's there. It's all right. Just calm down. My princess. Just calm down. Okay. My princess, there is no one here. Just look around. This is an empty house. There is no one here, my princess. See, 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 see what I mean? That woman is evil. You know, she was she was standing right there. Just there. It's just right there. She was threatening me, saying that she will never stop until she destroys us. Yes, there. My princess, please. Can you just calm down? Okay. It's okay, just calm down, okay. calm down. Okay. It's all right, please calm down. Please. Where are you going to? I have some things to do. I'm busy. Please, I have some things to take care of, and you know that. Please. My princess, please, you are holding me again. You are, you are holding me like you did out there. You are still holding me, my princess. Cause all living peace, oh, cha. My canoe, your fall, Ghana. No one can cause the man the God has blessed, oh. No one can bless the man the God has caused, oh. So do not envy the man the God has chosen. You are here. Huh? You are here. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, wait, if you look at this one. After plotting my removal from the throne and failed. Found it in yourself to come here. Oh, yes. Still claiming to be the one. Huh? Oh, yes. I know where you're coming from. <laughs> but you you probably know that when a child refuses to do the right thing. The onus falls on the elders to reprimand him. That is exactly what you teach to you. <laughs> I am Ono Wunzafuwe of Umezora Kingdom. And nobody, nobody can take this position away from me. You know, I am actually surprised that we are here discussing this travesty. Zafrope's perpetual claim to the ownership of the stool of your no should be the least of our worries. Oguefi, Oguanaswaya. Oguefi, Oguanaswaya. I am not claiming to be the Ono. I am the Ono Zafrope of Umezora Kingdom. And I remain a part of the future of this kingdom. You know, uh, Edas, please, sir. Uh, I do not intend for us to waste time. We are here for something very serious, and I, I want us to get down to it. Before I bring down the fan of a funny show with a masquerade, for us to face the business that brought us here. If there is any man here who is not sure of himself, let that man leave. Ogwefi, Ogwana Sanya, 
It is becoming too much of you. Why are you speaking in parables? I need you to explain. I mean, define what you meant by if anyone knows, he's not sure of himself. Listen, you know what I am saying. But as you are claiming not to know, I am going to explain it to you. A financial but a masquerade is not just any masquerade. It's not one of those masquerades that just come out anyhow. We are talking about a mass spread. You know yourself that is wired into sacredness and the purity. It is a creation of our ancestors for the sanctification and the purification of this kingdom. So if there is anybody here who is not wired into that same arena of purity, let that person leave before I lower the fan. I know the reason for this conspiracy. You want to scare me? You failed. You want me to leave so that you and your cohorts will have something to hold against me. Oh no, Zafu. Ndi wose. I'm one woke. Nyabu woke. Abu woke. Woke his way. Oh man. Okwana Saya. You know I'm a master. And your four nature of the masquerade you speak about. It's our mask red. So call down the fan. Call down the fan and let's proceed from there. You know, before all the kingdoms on the planet Earth, before they could figure out what they would do with their women, our ancestors had already positioned their women in the political structure through the Umwada and the Umwapo. They revealed everything to their women. The only thing they hid from the women is the masquerade. That's the only thing. Now, if there is any woman who is parading herself that she is more than a masquerade, we are going to show her what the masquerade is. You must be a fool to think you are separate from this. They used me. They cannot dump me. Nobody used you. Therefore, the language of nobody can dump you should not even come. You are just an enemy of the throne who allowed her face to be used for the destruction of the throne. But I'm going to prove to you today that inside that house, where a masquerade is talking, a human being who must be a man, is inside that place. Sure that it is right for her to be in the car. Are you certain that this will not lead to something serious in the future? Oh, yes, it will not lead to anything. 
Anyone who is caged in this fire is caged permanently. He warned me. He, he. Father, father. Mama, 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 mama. He warned me. You know sincerity. He, he warned me. But, but my. Now he warned you, and you still stayed when you knew that you were not qualified to stay anywhere near that farm. But you stayed. Now look at it. What do you want me to do? What am I going to do? Where do I go to? Who do I run to? Oh yes, okay. Oh yes, Obagi. When you were doing it, you didn't remember. So Obagi. Mother, at this point, I think we just need to apologize to the royal family. Apologize? Would they even listen to us? Eh? After all, your father did. In fact. What you and your father did to them are too much, too much, <laughs> that they cannot even forgive us. How can they forgive? But they are just not any family. They are the royal family, the custodian of the affair. They should be able to forgive their subjects, no matter their offense. <laughs> father, father, take it easy, father. Do I run to? Look at what you have brought upon us. Father, take it easy. Take it easy. Come down. Come down. She came to me and I told her, I have no power in my capacity to help you know. That we should come together and come and meet you. That's why we're here. Please help me. Please help me. I don't want my husband to die. This is too much for me and my daughter. And you know, my, my son is currently not in the country. I don't even know how to tell him all this. Please help me. Help me. Sit down. You know, it is an act of irresponsibility for an elder who is the elder in the house to be the one who will set the family house on fire. It is not today that his half where started to shoot himself in the legs. So it is possible that finally the gods and the ancestors of whom we are have allowed his sins to catch up with him. What does that mean? Oh sure, we don't have any chief priest in Umwe as we speak. And that is because you know Nzafurukwe, your husband, has refused to allow the one chosen by the gods to assume office as the chief priest of Umwe Zora. 
He has continued to play the politics that has made it impossible for that chief priest to be installed. As we speak, there is no chief priest in Umeza. Why are you telling me about the chief priest? I am telling you about the chief priest because the chief priest is the only authority who can free your husband from the wrath of that ancient masquerade. And as we have no chief priest in Umezora now, I'm sorry to tell you this. Zafu who is going to die in this. Hey! What can you do? Hey! Could this be true? That I am finally pregnant. Hello. Why don't you want to come back home? No, no. I thought we already talked about this. Moreover, what... What have you done to me in the palace that you haven't done here? But this is not your home. This is where we made our home. Did you truly ever loved me? <sighs> Nana, why would you even ask that kind of question? <clears throat> I'd like to know. Because I am confused. Your action to leave the palace has reduced me to a confused man. What is the problem? You need to speak to me. You need to speak out. Your decision to leave the palace and continue to stay here is not only going to affect me, but the entire kingdom. Hello, baby. You are my wife. You are the queen of Umwezara kingdom. You have a role to play. A big role. What role are you talking about? If you are going to reproduce the heir to the throne, I'd like for you, my wife, to be the one to reproduce all the children that you could be Kaibiyama would bless me with them. For that to happen, you and I must always be together so that we can take advantage of your circle. If it is the will of the gods that it will happen, then trust me, it will happen. Will you come with me? Actually true. God. What do I do? Because you will never, never win. Why the envy? Why all the jealousy? Jealousy. 
Yes, you have forgotten your duty. Yes, I did. And I am happy that you are here. I was expecting to see the Queen here. That is the reason I have invited you. The Queen is still not here. The battle has been fought and won. The dark days are over. The entire kingdom anticipates her return, yet she is not here. And I wonder. I wonder why she's still skeptical about coming back to the palace. Why is that? Hafiz has been defeated, I heard. Yes. She's still not here. Would you be kind enough to speak to her? I want to know what the problem is. <clears throat> okay, Your Majesty. I'll talk to her. I've not seen her in a long time. I mean, I've been out of town. But I will make out time to talk to her. And I'll get back to you on how it goes. Thank you. Um, I have to leave now. If truly she ever loved my brother, she should be back by now. One thing I can tell you without fear of contradiction is that Wayne Ebube loves the king even with her life. Why then is she not back by now? The spirit woman that has been tormenting her has been caged, and I can attest to that. My princess, you will agree with me that the gods are involved in this whole thing. Yes, I am sure there are some loose ends that try to tighten up before bringing her back into the palace. Trust me, everything is going to be all right. Wow. <laughs> Peep. You're pregnant? That is what I found out, my dear friend. I am pregnant. I'm happy. Congratulations. Okay. What's with that face? Huh? You're not looking happy. My darling, this is the best piece of news for the king. Exactly the news I want to hear. The same words I want to hear, but I don't know. I am scared. She was scared. Ibube, learn to face your fear. Learn it. You know I was with the king in the palace. Mm -hmm. And guess what? What? He can't wait to have you back. He told me so. What do you think I'll be safe in the palace with this? Oh my darling, come on. Everything has been sorted out. Babe, you do not belong here. You belong in the palace. Ah. 
And here comes the one that makes me happy, the one that means the world to me. Eh? Obim, how are you today? His Imperial Majesty, my King, I am doing fine. You know that I don't like it when you sound this way. Eh? You're supposed to be here. You are supposed to be here with me so that we can be together. Huh? Um, okay, I know I'm not supposed to be saying this over the phone, but I can't hold it anymore. What is it, my love? I am... Um, I am pregnant. You are pregnant. Oh my goodness! Ha! Huh. You should be on your way back to the palace. Because yeah. Huh? Come on. I, I only just found out. I'm, I'm still not able to hold my job. Ha! Huh. I say thank you to the gods of our land. Thanks to the forefathers that prayed for this land. Thank you. Thank you for the spirits that guide you and protect me. Thank you for not making me a subject of shame and mockery. Thank you for giving this land an heir. Thank you. So finally, I'm a father. <laughs> you know what? I will make plans to come get you. And please don't say no. I think father is going to die. That's what they said. Had it been he allowed the chief priest to be installed, that priest would have restored his health. But he played an evil politics that still left the office vacant. Everything that we did, everything. What are we going to explain to Chibuzo? Of course I will tell him the truth. But let me tell you, if your father dies, I repeat, if your father dies, just know that you contributed to his Mother. death. Mother! Yes, because you refuse to tell him the <laughs> you truth. You say that. No one can bless the man the God has blessed. Oh. No one can bless the man the God has caused. Oh. So do not envy the man the God has chosen. Ah, it is a fight to never win. What work can we do more? God has given us what we need. The evil you do will live with you. The consequences is big. Oh. Why the envy? envy? Why all the jealousy? jealousy? You have forgotten your duties in the kingdom. Swallow your pride, let us all live in peace. Oh, Chai, Makano Jio for Ghana. No one can cause the man the God has blessed. Oh. No one can bless the man the gods have caused to. So do not envy the man the gods have chosen. I left when the heat became too much. But I am back now. And I know the glory of the new era will supersede the former. I am happy to have you back. The love of my life. 
Yes, you're back to the palace. But you came back bearing gifts. You returned with a life inside of you. The heir apparent to the throne of our people. A gift to the land of Umar Zora. My darling, you are welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to have you back. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy to have you back. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, today is one of those wonderful days in the history of our kingdom. Now we have come to realize that it is wrong to start solving a problem that the cause is not known. Once we are able to identify the cause of a problem, then we are one step ahead. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Obwefi, Okwana, Swanya. I am glad to call you a friend of the throne. Thank you for always standing on the right side of the truth. I know that a lot has happened in our community and kingdom at large. But it is well. But we can start again. And the buyer is Tata Kapibo. Who sit at the bamma? Who sit at the bamma? At the babo. Eh? We are going to get back on track. And all things shall be good, as the queen of our land has declared. That the glory of the new era shall be greater than that of the former. Away from you. Let us go inside. Oh, you. Oh, yes, a room is all right. Oh, Balazze. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get it. Try. Be a It's, it's, revy, revy. Whoever the cup of feet, let him wear the crown. No, do not fight a man ordained by God, yeah, cause you will never, never win. Why the envy? envy. Why all the jealousy? jealousy? You have forgotten your duties in the kingdom. Swallow your pride, let us all live in peace. Oh, child. Makano Gio for Ghana. No one can cause the man the gods has blessed. Oh. No one can bless the man the gods has caused. Oh. So do not envy the man the gods have chosen. Ah, it is a fight to never win. Hey, what work can we need more faith? Call a rebu work and the evil you do will live with you. The 